like you know hardcore versions of people uh actually where your people from i'm gonna say no uh your people is warlock is a tribal barbarianist race i want to say so yeah they are going to be by themselves or with people that or entities that would be able to survive in that environment around them either because they trade with them or they fight them themselves or I know what you tell me. Is your race? Is it, we're making the damn world right now. Is your race? Um, are they warlike? Are they peaceful? Are they tribal? How are they? You tell me. I'm, so uh, oh, wait, wait, Hersk. Do you think an intelligent tribe would melt? Would name their city Snowmelt? <laughs> <laughs> Answer me that. No, that's a human base. No, his tribe ain't gonna be on the map. Okay. These are these are such going to be the common names by the common folk. It's going to be humans. There's going to be human names, maybe elvish, dwarvish, um, but uh, Kergar is not a common race. So, okay, I, I thought like their tribe was like snow melt. Let's name no, city. No, we're not dumb. Okay. Uh, Lands end. Lands end. Lands end. Land, Land end. end. Land end. <laughs> Land end. <laughs> <laughs> oh no but north like so the thing is right during the north uh up in the north the frozen waste is where the continent ends but the but the sea up there is also frozen most of the time so during winter they just go all the way up on their ice sheets and then they just hunt you know like polar bears and seals and other animals uh but they used to be raiders a long time ago and to an extent, sometimes they still are. And I'm going to say, I'm not... going to do a quick pause on you, Mike, because if you look at the names of the places up here, Orkhold, Orkaros, they're the orcs. Warring the... orcs. Are also, they also, also there's, there's Land's End, there's also Land's Edge to the right. This is interesting, though, right? Because he, hear me <laughs> out. So in lore, when I was reading this, uh, <laughs> my people yep. have been... Generally, raiders, and they raided the empire, obviously, which enslaved everybody. But again, Mike Ross, we're not using that lore, so you can actually, you can part of it, you can use it, but we're making a completely new lore because we're not using yeah, that same continent. Fit. But this, but this can fit. Okay, okay. So eventually, the Snack people got really upset about being raided, mounted a counterforce, and absolutely wrecked the the Yotun. Okay. And enslaved them as well. And from that, they actually used them to... I don't know how exactly or what orcs are, but they made Jotun, Jotun into orcs. Uh, at least that's what the lore specifically uh, read, but I have no idea what orcs actually are. But if this is to be believed, then they're probably not that far related. Uh, either way, uh, when they got enslaved, obviously they did, they did, they stopped raiding and until eventually the empire fell and then they were free again. But uh, they used to be like combative or whatever, and you know they're just basically Viking. But now, first of all, they're not as populous anymore. So they're, they're like small nomadic tribes in the frozen wastes. Uh, and uh, they're more more about like fighting and you know, like doing spar sparring instead of going out on actual raids. And if they do raid, it's usually like small stuff. That's more like a band of mercenaries that like annoy a village, but it's never on a scale large enough to make entire countries or or whatever get really upset about it. It's, it's like who do you like it's a it's a group of like 20 people what do you do with that like how, how do you hunt 20 people you don't know where they live it's not like a specific country or a kingdom that you can target as a, as a, in retaliation they just kind of hang out okay all right uh and actually since we got the kind of background or at least the home locations of most people except for um in fact crow are you going to live by the name crow or do you actually have a character name crow's gone brb Oh, he be our beat. In that case, we will skip Crow for the time being. All right, because we have <laughs> where, 
Now, we know your old home location, um, Lob and Jean, but where do you currently reside from? Because obviously you weren't from there because that place got essentially blown up. Or are you actually yeah. there? Do you still have remnants of the civilization there? Uh, from what I understand of the lore they've given me... Again, this uh, is, we're making the lore up right now, so you can use parts of it or you can make your own if you want to. Alright, so I'd say there would still be people who have kept their own visage and didn't evolve or devolve or anything so there won't be like a, an encampment maybe there or a few that's like try to regain the glory days they once had and i might have been maybe like born there but because i seeked a change to actually do something and instead of staying around i would probably travel to uh maybe have like a place here in the mountains to try and recover like uh, any clues or lore about the civilization, because there's there's like an encampment here in the Red Wastes. People like, oh, I wish everything was back to normal like it was once. But I felt like, yo, you guys are not fucking doing anything, so I'm gonna travel and find lore. And the lo and uh, hints and points brought me to like several mountains around the, the Red Wastes. Okay, so what to build upon this? So, Treacherous Point, um, that we're going to see right here. Treacherous Point is actually a location where now a garrison of dwarves currently reside, and they forcibly push back any expeditions by the, essentially, the, uh, the Serpent People. Because they yeah! still, remember, they still oh. remember what has happened. The thousand years ago, how they essentially ruled the entire continent, um, and when they got when they got brought back down, their main slave race, the dwarves, essentially beat the absolute shit out of them. Um, once the demon lord shattered their realm. Damn, they so, keep grudges like a, they keep grudges like a warhammer. Yes, and so their grudge is Treacherous Point is a dwarven stronghold that actively stops any type of expedition to Damn. the red waste or from the red waste they try to oh, isolate yeah. them damn all right but why are well, you hersk i don't want to be like <laughs> why are you in why are you inducing civil war within our party before it even started <laughs> the, the race riots <laughs> dynamics it's all fine uh, obviously, you need really to, we did find together. a way, but I'm building some, I'm building some uh, contestation, I would say. The dwarves do not like the lizard -made people, and we'll go more into that as we go. Uh, but I'll go back Nobody real quick. Nobody likes the lizard people. <laughs> 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 no, so, kinda, because I keep saying that, that is the derogative term they use. They call some people we, lizard people, as a kinda, curse. We kind of enslaved everybody back home. Honestly, I feel like the lizard people should have at least one race that was kind of like, you know what? We also have slaves. Let's work together. I mean, maybe. But and that could have been the dwarves easily. What? Really? But like, dwarves. I'll are like... say the elves because the elves and the elves. elves yes, people. actually. Where were the elves? elves so do we want? Do we want to go a bit of uh, Savage World, Sun Skies? They actually have the elves be evil, also. No, elves aren't evil. They just used to have slaves themselves. No. Okay. I they mean, elves my people. Elves can be ages. So the snake people and the elves, like elves, were pretty like advanced and difficult to like you know attack because they live on the claw islands. There you go. What? And uh, because of this, instead of conquering them, the snake people decided to ally themselves because they didn't really much care. They just they needed somebody in the north to be their kind of an extension because I'm, I'd imagine snakes are pr probably prefer warm weather. So going all the way up north where it's snowy, it's well, kind of a pain to have it, you it know, doesn't administrative say, it, it, staff there. So instead they were like, all right, elves, we're going to ally ourselves. We're going to be the one empire. We both have slaves. You keep the north because it's too cold for us there and we take the south. But it doesn't say they have any preference for the temperature. Well, it does now. <laughs> okay, we're we're we're, we're, we're literally building oh. the lore of the game. So, all right, all right. But now, like, obviously, yes. It, in the group, we do. I'm sorry, real quick. Uh, 
uh, fucking my brain's going haywire demo. Um, I want to pause it a little bit because I've lost my fucking train of thought. That's cool. Oh, we need to decide. Yeah. So there's definitely intermixed party, and the lore report so far does have why are some of you working together. So you need to find a reason why, especially um, Shagram and Beauty Love and Gene are working together in a group together. Why? Mm. That's mm. a mighty fine question. We must I we just execute the, the, the Snake Man and then get on our way. Maybe, okay, maybe. Since since I was around the mountains and stuff, maybe I was imprisoned. We at need Treasure. her. We need her for the language of the snake people, because we heard that there's a big ruin somewhere out there that hasn't been discovered, but like it's somewhere out here. Uh, but in order to get there, you need a snake person, obviously, for various reasons. So, and she probably knows best where it would have been. So we we you like we need her for, to get to the ruin in the first place. And she's not impolo intolerable, mm -hmm. so we can deal with it. But I heard it begs the question. Now, real quick, before I go yeah, to that, yeah. I want to ask Crow. Uh, Crow, are you here? Yep. Do you actually want to use a character name as Crow, or do you want to actually, uh, or is that... Uh... No. no, I'm keeping it as Crow. Okay, cool. It's easier. That's fine. All right. Um, so here's the big thing about the game. We start at level zero. We are essentially commoners. Um, why? As commoners, have you not gone out? Obviously, you're looking for treasure. Obviously, the game looks like we're not going to be a bit of uh, the standard fantasy and glorious type thing. But what caused you to become your old sailor as um, not my computer right now? But your back, your backstory or your um, profession is what you are right now. That is what you are. That is what you have known as what you're doing right now. So you are a sailor. So you came in from the damn sea, I would say. Um, Shagram, you came, not Shagram, I'm not buying my computer right now, but, Kingar. yeah, I'm, Kingar. Kingar. so you came from the sea, because you're a sailor, so either you are the captain of the boat, actually probably not, because you're a level zero character, so you no. probably came on as a, um, a passenger, or you work for a ship. I, I, I was a deckhand, probably, Yeah. just a, a crewman. So, knowing all of your actual professions right now, Think about this. As I want to do a bit of a small break, I need to make my lunch for myself, a uh, smoothie. So as I do this, think about, okay. talk with each other of, because I've eaten the last like 10 hours. Think of why, with your current profession, which is what you are right now, and your skill wise, why are you now going out? Is there something wrong with the city to cause you to not stick with that profession, to become such an explorer? What's going on right now in your current city? Mm. Well, nothing in the city. I was dumped by a girl because. I wasn't, you know, anybody particularly special. So So you felt madly like love at first sight with not a human madly, girl. But I was I was in love with a human girl and then eventually she decided not to pursue that relationship. And because your crew I left you here, you didn't go with the crew. So you got stranded here. No. The I was on a I was just a sailor and then she wanted to, you know, Hook up with somebody who is more yeah, than but just a why... So okay, so well, so she, she, so so that heartbreak has motivated me to seek something more. Uh, and ab I abandoned the. I, I came to Arcanet, fulfilled my, you know, contractual obligations, got got paid, uh, and left in Arc and stayed in Arcanet. And then now I'm just trying to figure out a way to become somebody important so that if I ever, one, find her again, or two, find some other girl again, I won't be rejected for being nobody. Next. Yeah, rest of you, <laughs> decide. Decide why you're heading out. What's the reason why you're not going to be this no more? Why are you heading out, out of town? To I am treasure? leaving... Um... Because my former master who I escaped from was a magician or a mage who, according to my academics, he sort of started, I caught on to some of his magic, but he doesn't like it that, you know, one of his pets escaped and he's after me, but I need, so that's why I'm poor. I have no, I'm destitute, but I've learned that money equals power and I want to free my 
create an elven or a fairy place where my fairies are protected. Basically, wage war. Protect my people. Wait, I meant to ask you. Uh, once you think about it, actually, I'll get to that too. But once I get back, we'll get back to it once I get back. But you're looking to free the pixie race people? Or the pixie race? Yeah, I mean, we're basically. So essentially, cages. a full on mage controls the race. Or control and enslave the race. No, I think that pixies are just, you know, in the wilds, in the forests, or whatever, they're fine. But I would imagine captured. if they're yeah. captured, they just pets. Okay. Got it. Yeah. But I, I wanted to create, like, a bad guy that was, you know, my. Someone that was pursuing me, you know, maybe we can. Add so him so in he was. Right. So he's not like enemy a, NPC. He's just he's just a regular guy that had a pixie that happened to be you, or a couple of them. But he's not like the main main villain. He's just a mage. Yeah, I just wanted to create an NPC that was. Yeah. You know, we could be a. From from what I read. Pixies live in like a pocket dimension. So, is your pixies like out in the wild instead of being in their own little world? Probably like fey forests or whatever. Because, because, because I was just reading because it says that many of us that there's a lot of times uh, like goblins will use us for yeah 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 but, ingredients. But I know that many I know that many of them live in like a fey a dimension that only they and specific species can enter. Uh, like, yeah, just just peek out I, sometimes. I'd imagine that there's some... the one, I guess it'd be the ones that are out here in the open. Well, there's right. the ones that are the ones that are trapped, the ones that are uh, in sla or you know, basically put in cages, treated as pets. I'm looking to free them and find our own place. Oh, so he, oh, oh, I get it. He's using you as a what's it called? He's using you as the dragonfly. <laughs> You know, like it, like like a he like he uses you as like a candle. No, nah, it's a pet. Just a pet, like a hamster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep us in cages, like, dude. I'd, I'd imagine that there would be like hey, some forests that have magical boundaries that are kind of like blurry, where you can enter fey areas. Yeah, or maybe other. maybe the Mergate, maybe the Mergrave Marsh. Look at this. So that's actually what I'm asking uh, Crow right now. Crow, where are you from on this map? Uh, the mash looks pretty. Marsh looks pretty. Uh, fey. Well, uh, there's a big forest area. Um, it's a swamp. Probably, probably where the elves would have been chilling. Maybe. Yeah, where I mean, where do most elves live? Oh, the Claw Islands. We've we've yeah yeah. There's also singing shards okay. in like a ma massive forest. The Claw the Islands would be perfect. That would be I mean maybe where I meet up with the sailor because. I uh, snuck on board the ship. Okay. And then maybe he and I became friends, and so when he decided so, to leave, I left with him. So, so your former wizard master would probably have been an elf. Yeah, that's why I was. Yeah, it was an elf. Okay, so that that, that because, that's what... because elves elves have have, despite the thousand years that has passed since they don't since they live for a long time, they still have their um, let's say, slavey tendencies. From the past. Yeah, like because because they didn't get it's frowned upon now by everybody, but like they used to just have slaves, and then pixies are like basically not even people, so can't yeah, even we're... call that slavery. Yeah, so, so that's why we're they're allowed to still have us because we're not even. Considered. So, Hurst, her, how much territory did the lizard people own? Because because supposedly we took it by force, but I don't know how much. Did we take the the whole continent of the burning expanse, or did we take? Over most of the world. Essentially, uh, every place that is not covered in white is what you owned. The elves took over everything in the north. Got it. And got the it. islands. Wait, and so islands. so my so Mike hates elves because he's <laughs> all right. I do hate elves. Yes. All right. So so that, that's that's how the pixie and the the giant meet. So me and Konsai would probably meet somewhere in the mountains here, right, or the treacherous point. Because so the way I. The way I envision this is that you both jo you both join together, and then me and Kansai both join together, and then both of our little two groups uh, somehow met uh, in mm -hmm. another way. But the way how I envision my meeting with Kansai is that maybe as I was leaving the Red Wastes camp, 
to actually like do something about this shit instead of waiting. Maybe I was caught at treasure's point because my curiosity got the better of me. And then Kronza is like, what is this like? You know, why are you treating the serpent uh, this way, right? Then they explained it. And then I pleaded that I am looking to maybe make things right or something that my ancestors, you know, caused such a wound between our mm. species. And well, I was like, kind of bullshit. You don't believe that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like sounds like a bunch of hogwash to me. I mean, that's that's up to the dwarven intuition, I guess. But and maybe <laughs> and maybe you like uh, let me out and talk talk to your fellow dwarves, and you you know maybe you you know pretended. To you're just them. you're just you're just riding concept to be an idiot. Also, there are clouds that are passing. Yep. <laughs> Why? Well, well, what? I'm not writing him to be an idiot. I'm just saying, like, he may be. Oh, actually, you know what? No, Kunsa isn't an idiot. He was just really drunk at the time. Maybe he just let me out, like, in a a drunken rage. Yeah, sure, I'll give give it to me, whatever. Mm. That's that's what I'm saying. I don't really know why I would let you out, but I gotta think about that. All right, so Uh, give me your. your, uh, What do you want to mean? We we will put a pin in that. Uh, Meanwhile, Let's talk about orcs. Is there any specific lore that you want to include about orcs? Uh, um, hers. Well, they have a couple of uh, cities up to the north. Especially, I'm gonna say Orkhold is their main city. Um, I would say they were the big bad race because of the fact that the um, Velosa were the main ones that ruled. So, what can we say? Something interesting about the orcs. What can we say? Uh, I I was thinking I, I think I think the way that it happened was orcs originally were Yotun, but they were just heavily corrupted. Like okay, probably probably after through like you know all that slavery and and being forced to because I'd imagine after being conquered by the snake people and the elves. They would have used them, these those slaves, as probably like short troops, you know, like actual. Well, they they got conquered by elves. We can't really go there, or uh, or, or or we would like you know not put such a tight grip on the waist because we don't no, like. No, I mean the, the snake people initiated the attack and then they destroyed the main force and then enslaved everybody else. But afterwards, the elves took over, but. Uh, they they would have after, like during that slavery period they would have used Yotun as you know just cannon fodder for most battles to overtake the rest of the because Yotun is so large because because they were just made for fighting and then if like it wasn't even that difficult it wasn't difficult to control them when they were enslaved because they 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 used to be very bloodthirsty and they loved the fight so eventually they were like oh fuck this I don't care that I'm a slave. Let me just kill something. So that's what they did. And then that corruption ended up creating the orcs. And then I'd imagine out of, like, those are the original orcs. And then orcs now are just probably a lot of other um, races that have just been warped into this orcs. So, so, so what he's saying is that orcs, time after time, uh populating uh, with other races that willingly or not willingly who were able to do it, they deformed into these green beasts that only think about Jotun, corrupted and then raped and pillaged other races. And then those just like that, just entire DNA mix just worked into just or basically just any person that has been corrupted beyond their own you know sanity but then uh, do the t- normal orcs now have sanity or did not really no or or did the or did the or, or they or they just became more tame uh, i guess they just no orcs are still evil and they still do bad things but they just got i i guess i guess they grew enough of a tolerance that they can kind of organize themselves now instead of just being bloodthirsty monsters. But they're still like evil shitbags that live off of corruption. That works in my Krogan to me. If you're a Mass Effect fan. Kinda. 
Yeah. Mm. Well, the Jotun seem like Krogan. The, uh, the 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 actual orcs are probably just like the Rachni after they've been, you know, turned into. A, they used to be normal, right? But they've been corrupted by whatever. They're basically like, like, like uh, the reapers of any race, right? So, are are they like constant threat to the world, or do, are they keeping to themselves? They probably are. I need to have, but it's difficult to get out of there. They can oh. only attack during winter when the when the when the sea freezes over, and they can actually get out of there because. What if, I'll... what if there were something at the Great Mu- Malusi? Blah. What, what if there was something at the Great Mu- Mazuli? Blah, whatever that word is, that caused the the rapid uh, change or deformation of the Jotun into the orcs and other races. Maybe that's well, that was just art. all the killing that they did, and there's no. probably a lot of corruption it, somewhere. It, else. But it, what yeah, are you talking yeah. about? So, if you look at the top left, there's like a building called the Great Museum. M- Ma- Mausoleum, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. Very easy and, word. And the and Great Museum. Yes. And, and, and what, what if there was like some ancient artifact that caused a rapid change of the Jotun into orcs on other races? And maybe like that. This this is where well, the Liam is just a graveyard, you know. Yeah, but what if there was like an ancient artifact that caused such a transformation or some other dark secrets in there? Because it looks abandoned. Looks like no one wants to go there. It looks destroyed, so it obviously it's been battle worn. And there's no other place like that on the frozen way. What about Kilismar, though? Where? What about this city here? Well, that that looks more like human remains because it is, is it like the middle of the map more human races yes it is right but orcs would mostly be in the frozen because jotun uh were were most frost boys so they would have primarily a structure in the frozen part of the map where they would do that thing right unless this is like some something else that's like burned. It would have probably been like just an accumulated shitholeness of, you know, being slaves and whatever. And I'd imagine that the snake people, while at the height of their power, would have dabbled in dark magic and black. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We, 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 oh yeah! Because so so, it, so to ease the so to ease the control over the Jotun of and and. Keep them as blood bloodthirsty slaves. They would have just cast a bunch of really corruptive spells on them that basically just altered them to be monsters. So, so because of the demon lord, our our own god, like <laughs> our own god, like basically uh, cast us cast us down. Like our god did not like what was happening because of the demon lord's influence. So they basically he struck the his own race of people down into this huge mess. You and just some... got adjusted, basically. Yeah, like... Oh, wait, you guys are losing the sight of who... what proud people you once were. Yeet! Yeah. And then the orcs are just a, a sad remnant of... of, of like... all the fucking sin and corruption that <laughs> was taking place at the time. <laughs> From elves and, and snakes. Should it should it be a third faction that was at the time maybe like a resistance group from humans? It would just have been any person that's a slave and a human or an, or an other race. But no, but no, but probably... like a, like but like an actual like organization at the time because I imagine in every fantasy story there has to be like a general some... resistance, yes, but there has to be like some human vigilante group or something that keeps persisting throughout the years for all the chaos. I would say they would have been aided by some fake creatures and wouldn't have actually lived on the continent. They would have gotten, like, escaped in some numbers to a different dimension. Okay, now we're, going... have been able... now we're going to dimensions now with the fae? Well, yeah, because the fae also live in, like, a forest that isn't actually here. It's on a yeah, different plane. Yeah, but, but we... we... 
we came up with the fact that the the Fey and the the veil between the the dimension and the Fey is yeah, the cool between, island between the forests and stuff. Yes, but yeah. It, so what, so how, you how, can how, sometimes how, stumble into a Fey area while walking through the forests to the Core Islands. Yeah, yeah, but that's where, yeah, that's where elves live, though. So where humans would be. Yeah, let's move on from that. All right. Use some more of that later on. Um, let's get back to the let's get back to the right now. What we're doing right now. So. Oh, I have a volcano. <laughs> that you do. Fire burst summit. All right, so, at Arcanit, all of you, the four of you will be here. Now, I was doing some notes, so I didn't really hear everything, but I have recorded, so I'll listen to it when I need to. But do you have to get, do you have the reason why you're all together right now? Why are you heading out? Uh, well, we, we haven't gotten to the part where no, all four of us join. Okay, well, they we're, we're just right talking now. about people up north all the time. Yes, just talk about Arcanit right now. Let's talk about your situation right now. I'm looking for... So, okay, so Kansai, have you decided which how we want to meet up? You, we haven't talked about this at all. He just kind of... I off. did. I think it would make more sense for me to meet Kansai because we're kind of operating in similar circles. You know, smashing right. skulls, drinking booze. Okay. Big burly then, man, man. Then how do I meet the Fae? Would she be in, in one of these forests around the Red Waves? No. Who is no? the sailor? I'm the sailor. Kurgar. Kurgar. Well, I was sailor. doing. That's how I escaped off the island. Was on one of your ships. Or the yeah. ship that you were on. And I'm assuming you're basically gonna. So when you left on Arkan, Arkanet, or whatever that would be, say it. I left with you. Perhaps maybe you found me, or I. You fed me. Doesn't matter. You befriended me, and if we're all treasure hunters, um, perhaps there's a guild there, maybe a uh, explorer's guild or something like that. Uh, and since we're all level zero, uh, we decided that numbers were going to be our best asset to accomplish things. Seems like the quickest, easiest. Of how maybe, we formed up. maybe when I was looking for artifacts of my people, and maybe I found some dwarven relics and I donated them to the dwarven like cities, and they gave me maybe more leniency than most other snake people that they would have given it to. And maybe from that method, maybe I came across Shagram in one of his battle-hardened valor battlefields where he was mm. killing everything he could that was no, possible to he kill. he's a blacksmith. He ain't in the battlefield. He ain't a soldier. <laughs> you remember, you guys are not heroes. You guys are literally commoners right now. Okay, so maybe he, maybe Konsai has heard of me because it is very rare for dwarven he, people he to is, accept serpent people. He's an artisan, and then you, if you found any relics of dwarves and etc., you would have had to look to a dwarven artisan to identify what they are and if they're worth anything. And then this is how you met. Okay, maybe yeah, maybe I found some something and very then you important. Found some dwarven artifacts that peaked. Chagram, Chagram's interest <laughs> because uh, those are dwarven artifacts. Surely a dwarf would want to, a dwarf artisan would want to recover dwarven artifacts. So maybe we teamed so, up. So maybe we teamed up. Uh, you know, maybe maybe his desire to find dwarven artifacts is less, but he still has curiosity towards like what's hidden behind the dwarven mastership work of his ancestors. Is and this, I'm... Is this a satisfactory intro, Conseil? You guys could have met up, and then you guys were on the same ship as everybody else was. Well, no, so... they'd probably, like, live around here, and then eventually in Arcanet, they... Yeah, yeah we, we... I'm pretty sure none of us have ever been on a ship, because we're mostly in the land. So Demo, so Demo, Demo would have found the one ruin where he found ruin artifacts, but he wasn't looking for that, he was looking for something else. Because he was looking for snake people uh, ruins. 
Well, uh, I was but, only suggesting the ship because that would give a reason for the sailor to leave and all of us to meet up in Arcanet. But because, but me and Kansai live in this inland like thing in general this area yeah which is nowhere near any body of water so the only ship we would come across would be the one in arcanist where we all meet up now so pick a different spot <laughs> just pick <laughs> a different <laughs> spot we, I, I have a reason for this world around you I, I have a reason for for leaving the the ship anyway i think i i think finding it a, a dwarven artifact and teaming up with him to be like treasure hunters is pretty good. You know, maybe he doesn't care as much as I do, but he still has some faint interest in it. What do you think, Kansai? Sure, let's roll with that. All right. So I'll now, spend the entire evening considering options. Now, how then, do we, now how do we meet? And then, up? wait, do pixies have any kind of knowledge about things? He's been um, he's he's been jailed for like fifty years. Dude. He doesn't know. Only anything. what I would have learned from my master, so I guess I could learn. Well, your master, history. being his pet, you we would have told you about a bunch of things, right? If it was maybe. magical, then yeah, I would probably. Then then maybe he would have told you about some ruins here and there from the olden empires and how back in the old days it was much better than this. Uh. And uh, you would have picked up on maybe some clues as to where to look for things like that. And then you would have told me on our journey together. And that would have given me an idea to, hey, fuck this sailing yeah. bullshit. Why don't uh. I look for, you know, magical artifacts and uh, ruins? Hearst, could, uh, when I escape, could I maybe have stolen a treasure map? Sure. And uh, then I tell... It just so happens to point to the similar ruin that Demo was looking for? Yeah. And that's why the two of us have... The four of us have, uh, you know... Yeah. Bumped that into would, each other. Yeah. And then because we're looking at Empire ruins, uh, we happened to, in a tavern, bump into a snake. And then it was like, wait a minute. Maybe the snake knows something. That would make sense. That makes sense. Yeah, works. Yeah, and and this is kind of is Arcanite like a dwarven? Arcanite is like a dwarven city, right? Is it? Arcanite and... is no, because it's on the coast, so it'd be an old human city. Okay. So so maybe they're like, wait a minute, why is a snake person so far from home? That's what's over there. That's unusual. Because yeah, they're contained. Uh, we asked for information, and it just so happened that we're looking for the same thing. And then we it's set, and then we just came to the conclusion that perhaps it is most beneficial for all of us to join forces. Because we have a map, you have the snake knowledge, you have a dwarf that can identify items, etc., that are of high value. I have the Muscles, and then <laughs> Muscles. a party was born. What does the fate do to the party? Has a treasure map. <laughs> <laughs> That's like your value that. right now. I, I, like I, I can get into yeah. locks. I don't know. I can, get into small, I, can, I can go through small places that others can't. I like that. She has a treasure map, so once you take that away... And knowledge she... from, from former master who wouldn't be able... who couldn't fucking shut up while talking to his pets. Yep. Very and I pet. provide entertainment. Yes. An exotic dancer fit. An exotic fade dancer. Alright, right. that brings in one objective. So everyone going to the, the quest journal? And hold up yes. the entry for wealth, never had it, now I want it. You will see an objective. And I will give you a first clue. Oh boy. Oh wow. Now, one clue they'll get is that the map has no reference of trees. 
So it is only a location that has a clear mountain as terrain as well as a lake at the shores of the mountain. Hmm. Mountain and lake without trees. Trees. Well, I would either say How it's either paint? Treacher's Point or there's Escart Basin. How do you how do you ping? Uh, you have to set up the option for it. If it's not, then um, try the tilde key. I'm not sure if it's universal or not. Try to hold on left click. Hold on your button. Yeah, hold on your button for left click. Yeah, it could be this. Oh, I didn't know that. It okay. Could be this it could be uh, this yeah so i'll put it much a bit close to the escarp basin or um treacherous point so kind of yeah, around like we're all looking right now that's super far uh, there's no trees there is there's there no trees here there's, a, there's some trees, there's no here. trees here or here or here i mean i mean it said lake so maybe it's here like this is like a lake no, demo, that's a damn river. <laughs> no. Okay, if, if, you don't, if you don't look to the left, it's kind of like a lake. <laughs> I'm referring to the area the around here. I'll put it that way. Why are you so far away, dude? I told okay. you, it's like either this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah but didn't you guys see where you pointed at? Right around here. Yeah, right around here. <clears throat> so that would rule out those ones. So I would say probably maybe look around here or around here. Well, given okay, well let's think about it this way. Like there's a there's a road here which means that these are like fairly often traveled paths. So it likely wouldn't have been here. But um further up in this area there's like not really much going on here. There's no paths here. It's pretty hard to get to. Uh, it it stands to reason that it would have been. I say we look unexplored. here. Unexplored. Hmm. How about you roll for it? Well, then... what's the first destination you want to uh, head towards? You should compete with a roll of the dice. Well, Kanta, why don't you roll? Kanta, why don't you roll first? Uh, I don't want to vote. Why don't we? I, I shouldn't be the one suggesting this, but why don't we go to a library and look for some old maps and then see if we can piece together the map that we have with some of the older ones and figure out if there's any overlaps. Uh, the, only, the only one with knowledge of these cities would be probably Kansai. I'll so, roll up the map and point at you and be saying, by golly, we have a thinker over here. Let's go do that. So in the old human capital city, Arcanet, it is here, the five of you, or in this case, four of you right now, since uh, Alan decided to uh, either get busy or something, since he's still in chat or in the Discord. But... The four of you have gotten together, met on your own ways because of the fancy of treasure, has pulled you all together, something to leave behind that old life, or escaping a old aspect of your life. And with this, with the, the map that your companion Crow acquired from his old masters and brought with them here, there's a couple of destinations within the Cloud Mountains, the area, the region where you expect this map most likely refers to, close to the old kingdoms of the Velosa. In the midst of the Dwarven Kingdoms, anything there that is hidden away can be very valuable, if not already plundered by the other dwarves or whatnot. But as you all have stopped in Arcanet, because of the fact that it has the only open library capable to have the knowledge, which is the reason why you all are drawn to this city. You find yourselves currently within the local marbled walled building of the local library. Entrance to gain inside was very expensive, which 
this is the reason why all of you have almost no means of coin upon you. It was literally an arm and a leg to get in here. But you have access for one day to search the library grounds. Nothing can be taken out. Nothing can be copied. Well, things can be copied, but nothing can be taken out. But as you have spent the best part of the last couple hours going over notes, drawings, other tales of exploits of dwarves in the old Velosa and their situation that befell them the previous demon lord. It is now where you see if we can discern any clues in this library. So let's go to the first actual skill roll of the game. So, oh boy, I can't wait. Those of you in the library, now this is for Shadow of the Demon Lord. As long as you roll the number 10 or above, you succeed. There's no DC. The DC is 10 for essentially everything except for combat. And what determines how well you roll is besides a d20, you get boons and banes to the roll. So, as the four of you are in the library searching around trying to find information, we're going to go ahead and do the first set of rolls in the game. Now, this is actually a general investigative type search where you look through books to find any clues that might help out through ruins, more areas of lakes and mountainous regions, no trees or whatnot. So, when you do a skill roll inside Shadow of the Demon Lord, you pick whatever is going to relate to that roll. In this case, investigation, most likely it'd be intelligence. It'd be an intelligence based roll. At that point, I will give you a boon or a bane depending on the situation at hand. Then you come at me with your actual awaken, use your profession to help out. Obviously, if you're going to climb the crevice of a volcano, I said I can do shit for you. But if you're trying to find the fastest way around a continent, it says it's going to help out a lot. You'll get boons. Boons and banes are a d6. Boons give you the bonus, as well as banes detracting from that, and they cancel each other out on a one-to-one -one basis dice-wise. So if you get two banes for whatever reason, and one boon, you roll at one bane total. So, with that being said, we're now going to do a investigative type roll. We're going to go ahead and use intelligence for this. Now, before you roll, since this is going to be a little bit different based on how it's done inside Foundry, we're going to go one at a time to make this easy. So I'm going to go with Kurgal as I'm going to go top to bottom based on the PC list. Is there something you're specifically looking for? Now I might give more boons or banes based on maybe more specific information you want to try to gather. But Kurgal, you're in the library. What would you like to do? Would you do a general research or you want to do a specific type of research role to find, to narrow down this location of where this oh. place might be? I'm going to stick to my strengths, uh, which is since I'm a sailor, I am knowledge more knowledgeable about water, shapes of water and the coast. So I and I'm also pretty. I, I've I've I know at least the basics of how explorers and sailors would have you know marked down shorelines, etc. So uh, given that there's a bit of shoreline. To a lake, not a sea, but to a lake on the on the treasure map, uh, I would like to compare specifically the body of water uh, shapes and uh, see if I can find anyone that would match. All right, so here's what I want to do this. This general general role is going to be intellect at one bane with one boon for your sailor background. Go ahead and give me a base intelligence role. Intellect. Not bad. You'll see in chat the role plus uh, what he has uh, gotten. So you succeeded. Now I'm going to give the mission as one dump. So next one to see is Lava Jean. What about you? So since I am a scholar of ancient Velosa, or trying to be, I'd like to see if there's any sites that may or may not have been around the place that this map speaks of. So I'm looking for sites or remains of a city that were once there around the map uh, location. Now, before I do anything, we need to determine these ruins, this map, the treasure map we have, it's ruins, most likely, or whatever it is, but what is the original language the map is written upon? 
So, Crow, you still want to have the map? Crow, you tell me. Is this an Elvish map? Is this a Dwarvish map? Is this a Velosa map? What is this? Crow, you there? Crow? <laughs> all right. Oh, Crow! Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Now we can, can, yes. Oh, I didn't have it always switched over. Uh, Velos is the lizard people, right? Yes. Yeah. I would say this would probably be... Mm -hmm. Or Velocian. It's up to it's, you. It's the... It's in the mountains. Um, I'll say it's in Dwarvish. Okay. In that case, okay. um, I am not going to give you a boon on this one, um, Lava Jean. So yeah, it's going to be a one bane. Go ahead and give me. It's like one bane, please. Is a hollow roll? Click on your attribute. Yeah, so yeah. Click on the character sheet. Um, you'll see attributes. Just click on intellect. Click on the actual number, or not number. Click on the spell intellect, and then go ahead and put in a minus one for the bane. Minus one. Got it. Got it. I can't read dwarf. Woo! All right, so. <laughs> You, yeah, you, you go over the notes, you can't find anything to help you out. Um, Shagram, what about you? Well, seeing that the map is uh, dwarfish, and I'm kind of from the area, <laughs> I would you know mountains as well. Yes. I would probably try and narrow it down to places I've been to that definitely don't fit the description on the map. Just try to cancel out what definitely doesn't match. Now, the map itself is Dwarvish, but you're a blacksmith, so you're not quite someone that would go using blacksmithing for that type of train. So I'm going to actually just give you one boon with the one bane to have a base roll. Go ahead and roll. Yay! My best stat. Here it goes. Oh, but it's concise, so it's worthless. It's going to be a zero. Oh, no. my God. Woo! Get out of here. Right. Best Sorry, roll. Good roll. Best roll. Only good roll you're ever, ever going to get. All right. And lastly, we're going to go to Crow. What about you? Crow, 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 crow. Unmute your mic permanently. <laughs> I demand it. I demand an appeasement by virtuous death. Crow! Ah, sorry. I, I, all over. Uh, I was going to say, because I, I speak Dwarfish and my master had talked about this map, I would know at least you some of the things he talked about. You speak Dwarfish? Uh, well, so I'm 65 years old, and for every 10th century, or for every... Wait, century is 100 every years, decade. huh? Never mind, I do not. I was... <laughs> yeah, I got, look at uh, this, you only speak I got centuries. I got centuries and decades. Right. You only <laughs> speak Elvish. Okay. Um, so, I would say, because uh, my master is speaking of this map, I'm going to look for, like, magical, any hi the history of magical towers or acts or great magical spells being done in that area honestly none of this will actually give you a boon um i'm looking at your professions okay. which is so essentially look at your professions your profession uh, needs to relate magic. to the, the skill check although you are magic academics doesn't mean this treasure map relates in magic in, in magic this could just be old stuff so in this case actually nothing of your background is going to help out here so it's gonna be at one bane do you know how to roll uh, so it would be a negative one, right? Yes. So Ooh, just, just got it. All right. <laughs> okay. Here's what we can determine. Based on all your clues, you all search throughout the, the night before you are ushered out by the scribes of the library at Arcanet as your time is coming to an end. And as you get your last warning, piling over the amount of notes you have in front of you, you gather three clues. And of these three clues, we're going to say that this location, this treasure map, referred to that there was... No dwellings. 
within the south as one clue as well as wooded areas to the east that were not nearby. On top of that, it was not near not fed by any river. Not fed by any river. Hmm. Hmm. So it's a little pond. So there's yeah, three. Yeah, it seems pretty, uh... Can't be that one, Mike. Because it's set to the east. That's forces to be to the west there. That's, what? that's east, buddy. That's, e that's east. That's east, west. Crow? We, it was to the left. West to the left? Yes. West is to the left. I know geography. I, I oh, know even geography. geography. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shit. I know. I know geography is a hard subject, but <laughs> wow. I'm you're you're I'm a slave, that... Pixie. It's okay. I'm really not that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah geography. Don't, don't feel bad. I blame the uh, education system because they, they they you always you always speak north, south, east, west, and you go. Like instinctually left to right. Yes, so I east know. East is left, west is right. I was just wrong. being an idiot. I was just being an idiot. <laughs> he owns up to it. It's well, all I make good. It's this all good. Mistake often. Yeah, I would say right here. Yeah, it looks like it. It seems like a reasonable choice. Which is now, what how do we go there? Do we go through here? Or do we go through here? I would say here. So we I have to like... pass through Lesrim first. Lersim. 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 Lurse. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Because if, if you go through here, there is no encampment here. It's gonna be all w wilderness. We're just gonna get ganked. Wilderness, so. yes. <laughs> all the wilderness. <laughs> wilderness is when you get wilderness, and it's getting <laughs> even more wild. <laughs> now you see that, that that's my snake accent coming up. Right. <laughs> but the road from Arkanet down here is pretty much way shorter than. It is way shorter. But more, we more have to pass it, through it, some it, hill. It, it's more dangerous. I mean, we could just make a like how, give us give us a distance traveled uh, first. How much can we do in a day? In a day, um, oh, this actually is gridded. So go ahead and do this. We'll use the grid as grid, grid, Scotland, no. Scotland. Just like uh, trees. Let's do that. Let's people move. Let's see if this works out. Let's do. Let's change this to one. Let's make the grid. It's either ten or fifteen feet. Mm -hmm. Which I would guess is be two days, maybe. There you go. Oh shit! Okay. Jeez. Let's go for marking it down here. It's two days, and we go to Lursen, which in itself is already we kind go of two five days. Mm, that seems. Let's see. What's what's cost country in this thing? This might be a little too short. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the distance a little bit. Cause I was I I would think this is like takes two days either way. Maybe maybe three if we go the. Try now. Let's see what distance is. Five. Five. That's even more longer than before. Okay, so it's gonna take six. Or seven days if you go for Lursum. This and is seriously this big. But then you and... can't just draw a straight line. It's like birthday. No, no, no. Like, I don't think. <laughs> okay, but no, no, like here, like if you go here. But we have to go like... Lursum, then we'll... then we go down here, and then we still need to go east again. Yeah, so that's. It's not so just hard. like where you can You have to follow the roads. No, but line. like this is four days. This is five days. Like, excuse me. Damn, that's a long. Is it distance. this big? Your grief, you people, you people are there. so annoying. 
So yeah, I well, like I'm thinking to... about how many rations I have and how I'm not gonna be have enough to even go back, go there and back. Okay, okay, three three days is Someone reasonable. Someone will have to hunt. Okay, three days is reasonable. Three days into four. I'm into just looking at the sides of a lake, like it would have taken an entire day to cross <laughs> to, to go around the lake. Okay, okay. <laughs> So, so we have five days max to reach here. Uh, that's reasonable. It takes like a week. I would, I would still, I, I would still think that going south is better. But it's more dangerous. Uh, it's more dangerous. I think we should go through the forest and then. Yeah, yeah. but if like we go for less and right here, go, cut that, and then cut across right here. I don't think we should go through the mountains. It should, I mean, I just feel like it's more dangerous because we got nothing to defend ourselves with. We have sticks. Well, so here's the biggest question. No risk. You're, no you're wanting to become rich. You want to become wealthy, have a bit of honor. Now, you are dirt damn poor. So, yeah. do you want to gather a expedition with the payment of treasure being there? Or do you want to join, um, possibly tell someone about this map and have them form the expedition with you getting a bit of the prize from it? Because, again, you're not adventurers right now. No, fuck that. I don't really want to share ancient Velocian artifacts with people and sell them as So money. you're trying to go into ruins with what equipment? Sticks. My lizard hands, they're called on. <laughs> no, but like, I don't really like the idea of selling a Velocian relics for profit. Or, you know, have them potentially be up for profit. I don't mind if they take anything else. Uh, what do you think we're going to be doing when we get this stuff? Selling it! Sell it! <laughs> I mean, we're going to split the loot. You do with your share what you want, but I'm selling I don't selling care it. what snakes crap is there. I'm selling it. You're not selling Still, any of any The thing artifact. is, like, nobody became famous and, and, and honorable by being a member of an expedition. Well, <laughs> but it does bring up a good point. We don't have any gear or experience at this. Mm. And Do we? We could look for a job. Slave Perhaps, away. For, I think starting out, we're going to have to take the lesser cut, get some help, and then we can from there build... Oh, so here, there's one or, thing I'll say. There's one thing I'll say real quick. I'll interrupt you, is that's not to be an immediate goal. You can actually do jobs around town right now. There aren't any come to get the supplies to cut out on your own. We can do that. We can do some bit side quests. Yes, I think I think that this is more of a like this isn't just your star quest. This is like a big deal. I think we should try to scrounge up some cash through mercenary work or or artisan work or whatever. And then uh, try to assemble like some kind of gear that we can then use to potentially explore that ruin because that's probably going to be some juicy stuff. But and I don't really want to share with anybody. Can I we do any job? Is, I believe that is the correct way to do it. So like, for any job anywhere. based on one of your professions. Ah. Uh. Man, I was gonna be a, a man whore. You know, chicks would dig a pixie. It's so like you. Wait a minute. <laughs> the is the pixie gonna be a man whore? You know, the chicks would dig a pixie. You know, the things we could do. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wouldn't like, know about that. I'm just a smith. I'm just <laughs> telling you. I, right. could, I could work that. I no, work stop, like a stop. One could say that you are actually the perfect size. I said. <laughs> we can't yeah, air yeah, this yeah. on national TV. Stop. <laughs> All right. Other than that, I can't do squat. Kilgar, that's a very good idea. It is better to keep the positions in our hands than to strangers we don't know. Oh. I Kill got the off the sea to get off the sea and get rich, and then I'm gonna go back to the sea. I never said you had to, but we oh, have to get it. some. I, I we, ha we, ha we have to get some sort of income. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm 
Like, literally. Do you know how to cast magic? Kind of, maybe. Never tried it. What, what can you do with magic? Can you do anything with magic? Um, he has I've, no magic right now. None right now. I've read up on it. Okay. I was told well, about it. You can fly, right? I can fly. I can fly 15 feet in the air. What if Impressive. you were a letter to just be a post pigeon? Why don't you deliver it later? Oh, so you're saying I'm a pigeon because I got wings. I got to be a pigeon. No, I'm a saying you can do the same thing as a pigeon, which is deliver letters, but in a much more intelligent manner. Why don't you deliver a letter, pigeon boy? Because if I knocked on somebody's house, on somebody's door, it'd never open. I can disappear. Why? Why don't um, you help with construction work? You can. Because uh, no one can see me. You can bring tools, because you can fly. You why are don't a you tool. Help? Well, I well, will probably help out fishermen on their boats. That's a very good idea. I'm not going to sign up on another crew because that's going to take way too long. How long do the crew assortment uh, last? Well, they don't do a A to A kind of deal. They go do they do an A to B kind of thing, which usually takes you know weeks to months. Ah, we don't have much time for that. I mean, we have plenty of time. It's not like the ruins going to get that. It, it's true. It's true, but time is of the essence in adventurer's world. Some may already be plundering as we speak. We can't have that. I'm pretty sure that nobody knows that it exists. If it hasn't it been found out for that many years, and then we are the ones that have any clue of where it might be, then I think I it's think... safe to take some time. I think this is my treasure map. You all should get work. And well, I was your treasure there. map doesn't uh, matter anymore because we already know where to go. You would betray me. Well, I'm not betraying you. I'm just saying you are leverage. betraying me. I'm the one your that brought the map. Is kind of meaningless. I brought the map. Without the map, you would have never known where to go. I'm sure somebody would have found it eventually. I'm sure somebody wouldn't have. I brought well, the map. Whatever the what case, it may be. Whenever or not you have found the map or not, we're all in this together now. And our main shared goal is that we all want to take part of what's in the location. Whatever it is for profit or for other means, we're all part of the group now. So there's no need for any fighting. So that sounds rich coming from a snake. It is true. I am burdened with many sins, but I wish to right those wrongs. And I will. Sounds like something a snake would say. You're wasting time talking to this lizard. <laughs> Let's just go and get to work. Well, Give you're the one, one that probably can second. earn the most money here. You want to see you... magic? Look back into the quest log. You should see the inactive tab now. That is what is happening around town that you can pursue. Oh yeah. I see no available. inactive tab. I see and no available. available is I see available quest, but nothing in it. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Inactive right. is a DM tool. You should put available it in there. Available. I have to put it into that. So how do I put it in there? Let's look at the notice board. No, they added one. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Give me a second. I need to copy over the text real quick. Dude, I, guys, I'm like 90% sure that Alan literally fell asleep. Yeah, pretty, pretty sure. He's kind of dead. How did he just fall asleep? I don't know. I'm pretty sure before. that he literally passed out. Yep. I am I've done it during some of Pop's games. I've literally fallen asleep. <laughs> 
Oh man. No, I mean, I say anything against bad against him. It's just you know, but dialogue goes you're on sitting for four hours. Yes. Available quest. Rat clearing. I see something I'd like. Hersk, is there a way? Is there any translation quests? No, because people fucking hate you. <laughs> no, no, please, no. Wait, you're a snake, right? That's right. That means we can use you to unclog drains and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I am not as flexible as a normal snake may seem. To be honest, you as a pixie are smaller than her. So, you could potentially go down and clog some pipes. How about you I could... go and take my pipe and clog your clog. pipe? <laughs> would be my guess. That sounds very graphic. I would, <laughs> I would implore you not to do it in public. <laughs> I suppose I can... Look at this magical crystal cluster. I'm off to do some metalworking. That sounds like my kind of deal. A local collection oh. of earth We're not splitting the party, so decide one of these. Actually, not, sound interesting. What the fuck? Okay. We're not splitting the party. We can't do metalworking. Oh, don't, we're doing it one at a time. Put it that way. I'm not going to split the group to do uh, multiple things. So, so, like two, two and two, or four? No, you're all going to be together. I'm, I'm not running a game with two and two. How about uh, we just have the dwarf do some metal working? That way, I don't have to. <laughs> that way, I don't have to peer for any of these assholes around town. I mean, why? Well, I mean, we could just do all of them, but like you know, one after the other. You wouldn't even know where iron begins and steel ends. Do you? Those are some very big words for a dwarf with a short mouth. You want to see magic? You can see me work with my hands. <laughs> Admire my work. Shall we commence? I want to hit something. Commission anyway. Sh shall we commence the the work of this heist little dwarf? Sure. I think so. what, does that, what does that even mean? He seems to be very eager to prove himself. I don't understand this lizard. <laughs> do I, but if you need a hand, I'm pretty strong. I'm eager to see your craftsmanship. I'll go up, I'll fly up to his ear and be like, Don't. I mean, I do it. I do it just to show off, honestly. You see, I'm. Reverse psychology. You see, I'm very eager to study what the dwarves make. The I bet one of your kind would be. <laughs> the cities you create are magnificent to behold. Until you've conquered them. You'd be kind. I see there are still a lot of sparks in this current age. I understand. Okay, Mr. Dwarf. You know, it's been over a thousand years, right? I understand some things never change, but I hope your heart does. Ah, what's breaking Ooh, fucking who? Your cities got conquered. My people got enslaved and turned into orcs. Somehow, well, that's I'm what you deserved. Them. You had it coming. Oh, all right. Okay, <laughs> we're going there, huh? Please, please, no infighting. Please, we're in a group. The lizard. He's just trying to conquer you. He wants to see your way. It's like <laughs> the fucking. Just shit. shut up and hammer the steel. <laughs> Hey, Hurst, yeah. we're gonna go do some metalworking, okay? Okay. We're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too inflating. Well, fucking schemer, bitch. And a snake wants to be. Now I want to hit something even harder, so let's do some metalwork. <laughs> Alright, as you go to. You heard a rumor. In one of the taverns, as you left the library, where you're currently staying at, you overheard a conversation of a local farmer who is looking to have some work done on his farm to essentially repair some of the things that he has have worn out or lost over the years. And well, does he have the skill himself to do what he needs? So he's asking for anyone of the capability to head down to his farm to do this commission job for him. 
He will pay in coin upon the completion of the work. Okay, sounds reasonable. Yeah, but like how much money would a farmer be even able to pay us? It's money. How much though? <laughs> I'm going business. How much All money? Right. I'll sit on the door shoulder. Yeah, but I don't I'm want this man on my shoulder. I'm just going to... I'm invisible. You don't know it. <laughs> Do you weigh nothing? Can't you feel anything? I, Maybe I you're know. sitting on my massive muscles. <laughs> <laughs> what if, uh, are strong. What I'm, lay, like, I'm laying in your beard. <laughs> making a death out of it. <laughs> it. It's so heavy, I wouldn't notice. I wouldn't notice. Yeah. I want to make it. There's a more hair in my beard, beard than in my hair. Mm. You know, on top of my head. I, uh, I don't think be my that home. a dwarf's beard is anywhere you want to be near of. <laughs> right. Why? I found a few stacks in here. <laughs> he ate so. Well, I've got a fair in my beard now, so. One man's trash is another man's treasure, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this cookie I was only been here for a week It's still pretty good Jesus Christ. I'll, I'll start pulling on the beard Hey, let's get to work I need some money Stop doing that <laughs> Well, the next ring I'll beat is you Alright, so Are you wanting to head for this commission job? Yes, we do Alright, so with the promise of a bit of coin Coming from the blacksmithing work Being done by Shagram you ask to the local guards around um, to what is known as Point Peak Rock. It is a location that was given to you by this commission, essentially paperwork, to head towards. Uh -huh. Okay. Point Peak Rock is several hours outside of Arcanet, that is to Jesus. the south. That is where the local farm is at. And it is there that someone does tell you that there is a farm there that is owned by a single family. And the, the man, the father, is known as... Jerokin Wilderash. Oh my god, what have we done? <laughs> is it a, is it a, is it a human? We, done? we just took a quest which solely relies on Kunsai rolling well. <laughs> <laughs> is this a human name or was it? It is uh, a human name. Does he have uh, human uh, children or or inbreds? Do you probably won't know until you actually see this guy. Alright. So you leave the city gates of Arcanet, heading south. And you travel for a couple hours. The travel that is leaving to the South of Arcanet is very, very minor. You encounter one or two people during the travels as the road eventually does lead off towards the west and east. And eventually, as you're traveling, you would see a field of wheat that you're coming across. And in the midst of these several fields, you see that there are... A couple of homes. And even from here, you can see a bit of the bus activity. There are people out in the fields that are toiling, doing grazing, not grazing, but they're, they're doing the field work that a farmhand would do. And they don't pay you any attention except for the lizard men among, not lizard men, the uh, servant men amongst you. Okay. Do you wish to approach this in the open manner, or how do you... Is there anything you wish to do before you approach him? Yes, that. That's probably a better way to put it. Are there any children around? Go ahead and give me go. a perception roll. Here we go again. Faith playing pick some kids. Is there a sex offender registry here? Crow, you actually don't see any children. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, because children can see me. Uh, That's I, I wouldn't know that, so whatever. I never heard that. I also would not know that. 
Well, I wasn't asking you guys. (laughs) (laughs) I see. No need to get uppity now, little man. Would I know that we've been traveling for a while? What? We were in a ship together, so would I know that children can see you? Probably no ships on the no children on the ship, so I'm gonna say unless he told you, no. No, I would. Did you tell me? No, I'm not gonna tell you my weakness. Hell no. Was well, that your weakness, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, all the players know. But no, uh, Crow, you haven't seen each other around. Uh, I'm gonna shoot out of uh, the dwarf's beard and. Uh, what? Fly, fly towards the uh, house. All right. As you fly over, you see that there are a couple stables. There's about maybe 20 farm hands here, and the large house. There is a a man who is currently out, and he is whipping a well a farm hand. Farmhand is tied to a post. Back is unclothed, and there are currently two lash marks on his back. Uh, uh okay. Oddly specific, does, but okay. And does the part, uh, the whipping guy, does he have a belt that's like holding up his pants? He does have a, I guess it's like suspenders as type of material, belt suspenders. Um, going over his shoulders, they just hold up his pants, yes. I'd like to go over and cut them off so his pants fall down. What, what? All right, Crow. <laughs> what have we picked up? <laughs> we picked up whipping a fucking, somebody. We picked and up a I, fucking trouble. Oh, the, the guy that's the guy that's whipping. I thought it was like going to torment the guy I that's he was already being whipped. The pants of the guy that's being whipped. <laughs> well, I'm going to cut the suspenders off the guy that's whipping, doing the whip lashing. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was okay. the other way around. Oh, no, that... I, thought, I thought he was trying to humiliate the guy that was already getting whipped. <laughs> Crow, that's stop, horrible. Please. That's horrible. No, <laughs> that is horrible. All right, now since you're so small and since you're invisible, um, Crow, you easily put your dagger and you go up and you do a quick slice at the back of his belt that does cause it to come undone and after one next kind of snap of the whip it does cause his pants to fall down does he wear any underwear he is not so he is now flapping in the wind and a couple of people around start sneakering start laughing um he goes get back to walk and then the oh, no. person that is at the post doesn't say anything. He's just going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I oh, know you won't, because once the people from the town of Akinet come here, you got to be hanged. I'm just doing what I can now, because I'd rather do it myself, but I know I don't want to get into the trouble. He lost his Scottish accent. As he puts on his hands. That was quick. <laughs> what the hell? It was wrong with my belt. Oh, blazes! I must have broken again. I'll be back here, young man. As he Greetings leaves. Greetings and salutations. Oh. Ah, oh, who goes there? Um. We heard you were looking for some metal work. A commission. Ah, oh, yes, yes. I need some horseshoes made as well as some other implements. Ah, uh, the farm season has been pretty bad lately. Need to get some things made. Ah, uh, you have a master dwarf with you. I'm guessing uh, he's going to be the one that does it. Although, I'm not going to... Oh. Really? Wrong. You travel wrong. with a lizard man. Is there and he says that with, with a lizard man. Is, is, there, is there a problem? Well, yeah, the I mean, you got the dwarf me. and him together. I mean, are, are they festival stories of them being at each other's throats? I mean, dwarves were the slaves. Of no, the, no, uh, we, we are great friends. And I pat uh, Shagram on the head. 
We're a great friend. Take your hand off me, lizard. See, he's very passive. I take my hand off. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not the one to judge. I'm judging this asshole right here, you fucking prick. As he points to the uh, young man that's chained or it's uh, tied to the uh, post. Uh, if I may ask, uh, what's the problem with the man who's being... No, no, this is none of our business. We're just here <laughs> for metal work. I, it is true, but I am intrigued by what has happened. He wrecked his younger sister. Four years old, sick fuck. Very well, I shall ask no more. Now, is this, is this is this common here, or...? I, I thought you said you don't want to get involved. Tell me! Do you have sex with your four-year-old daughter? What would you think? Uh... I can't say I don't have kids. Well, are you ignorant? Who would take advantage of a child? Well... Only I... wants to grow a nice long beard. Well... I think, Kirgar, you should say no more. Perhaps your culture... I, I would rather are... say no more, given that perhaps there's a cultural difference here. That is, yes, yes, I, I was about to say that. Maybe your culture is way different here, and perhaps we should just stick with the commission. Isn't that right, Chagra? Tell me what needs smithing and it will be done. Hey. Uh, well, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, come onto the farm here. Let me, let me get a new belt real quick. I don't know why this thing just broke. Uh, uh, by the farm over there, the building, uh, Red Barn, you can see it. Head over there. I'll be there in a few minutes and we can go over uh, the commission details. I need to get a new belt here. Son of a bitch. Don't forget to bring tools. No, oh, I got the tools. Uh, well, most of the tools, that is. What What would be missing? <laughs> uh, we're missing the ore. Oh. What well, do you do your thing? But, hey, you I'll know. be there a minute. Go over there. I'll be there in a second. And he goes into the uh, the house. He is quite intriguing oh, encounter so far. It's, we we're supposed to be working. This is none of my business. I will just continue. It is quite an intriguing encounter so far. What do you mean? I do not meet many people of the human race. I merely meet passerby dwarves in my travels. Perhaps you should get out more. That's funny. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to say for you, um, Lavagine, you would have to directly avoid other dwarves because they do attack you on sight. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised he's not dead then. <laughs> yeah. Dwarves that attack... The serpent people I, on site. I thought that the discovery I did would give me more leniency. Maybe with the ones that might know you're what you're doing, but in general, the average dwarf is going to try to kill you. Okay, fair, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> you're forever unless been unless they're at. like in a city and then with a lot of people around. Because, uh, like, you know, I, I made, like, a discovery, so maybe, like, the capital, like, you know, dwarves uh, be like, all right, you can you live. You haven't made a discovery, uh, so. Uh, you found a few items, like, essentially a spoon and a bowl. Uh, you haven't found, like, an artifact yet. Okay. Hey, Hursk? Yeah. Crow wants to do something. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll... <laughs> I'm not entirely happy with that, but, uh... Uh, Crow, this is going to be a little bit too more than I want to deal with in this game. Not a problem. <laughs> That's a little too much detail that I want to have. So, Okay. I'll leave him alone then. Unbelievable. Um, I would like to fly up to the little girl's room. I'll make her feel better. Okay, uh, as you actually go up, um, you easily find her room. And she's actually being consolidated by... A couple of elderly women, um, she is bandaged, and she does have a bit of a horrified look, expression. No longer really innocent, joyous as a girl would. Now, before we go further with you, I do want to see what the other rest of you are doing. So, um, Kirgar, Lavagine, and uh, Shagrim, what about you? I'm waiting well, for the farmer. 
Well, since I am merely here to observe uh, Shagram's master work, I am waiting with him. Since I'm interested in what his skill set, his skill set is. All right. So after a few minutes um, at the farmstead, he does come back out and he goes, "Oh, all right, all right. Uh, please, please, come, come in." And he opens the the door to the the barn. And inside, there's various implements, tools meant for farming, some hay bales and uh, wheat stacks stacked up and whatnot. All right. Uh, it's been a few years. I honestly, I could. In the years past, do it myself, but uh, me bones are getting too old now, and honestly, I just need a smith. Um, I'll pay for the commission of the material as well as the um, the actual backsmithing. Do have a bit of bad news though, although I'm kind of glad you brought some companions with you. My local stock of iron was stolen um, a few nights ago. Don't know where the hell they went. Uh, I did file a a bit of a dealings in Akinet, but uh, I guess they're a bit busy right now. No one's been sent down to deal with this yet. I think there's a couple of goblins or whatnot. Little pesky bastards got into my things. Um, so, unfortunately, I have no ore or bars here. I already smelted down. I got all of the actual tools to do it. I just don't got the freaking material no more. Um... So, I will pay for the labor, but there is a, a, a mine shaft I, I used to use myself uh, nearby. You can use that to get the, the raw material. But all I really need here is I need three sets of horseshoes and then a couple of my tools. He points to a couple of shovels, hoes, and whatnot. I just need the remade, redone. Um, you see how they're broken right there. Altogether, I will pay you tool wise what you have made. I think about 14 silver, and then any extra material you bring over order-wise, I'll pay you by the weight. As well as the weight you use, uh, since there's a bit of labor I'm going to ask you to do. A bit of the labor for what you bring in to uh, do the work also. Master Dwarf, well, uh, what do you think that. about that? Hmm. What do you guys think? Well, as far as I'm aware... The original request was metalworking, not slaying beasts. Well, no, I mean, if you want to go after the goblins, the beasties, uh, by all means. Um, I can't run, and, well, I'm not good with the sword anymore like I used to, and none of these farmhands are, uh, they're here just to get coin. I'm not going to be able to have them go out now. They're, they'll die in an instant. I mean, so either go into the mine, or if you feel like you can go after the, uh, the little beasties, of course, but... I mean, that would be the easiest, but also most dangerous. I mean, they, they attack back. I, I've had a few encounters with the little beasties, and in small numbers, they're not too dire, but we you get about four of them surrounding you, uh, they're going to stab you in the ass, and it's, they poison their blades. It's not good. Well, this is more complicated. If, if they have poison blades, do you happen to have any kind of countermeasure for that? Hi, uh, I actually might have a couple of the, the vials in the back from my old days when I used to go to the mine. Um, God, I, I'll check if I have them if you're going that direction. Well, are you going to pay us extra if we do bring the iron back? It is something not requested. It is. I think it's either mine the materials to get it back from the goblins. Well, honestly, the bars are already smelted, so honestly, I'll probably pay you more than that. I mean, it'd be faster, it's just more dangerous. Again, if you die, I want to pay you, so I guess that's a benefit for myself. We should kill the goblins. You said they have poisoned blades, which means this is not the first time encounter with them. You've seen them work. Plenty of times, in fact. Well, that's why I know they have poison blades. I, I mean, the last time I tangled with them was, I think, uh, what, four seasons ago? Um, they don't usually come this close to uh, Akinet, but as of late, uh, I guess they've been either hungry or a little bored or driven by sex. I don't know, one of them. Do you know how they work? I've never fought a goblin before. Yes, they come to you and they stab you. I mean, that's what they do, and they take your stuff when you're dead. I don't know... <laughs> 
I'm not a philosopher on these things. I'm just a humble uh, owner of this farm here. Do you, do you have those antidote things, the Jewish? I, I need to go check. I mean, I'm still talking to you. Uh, uh, oh, whoa, go wait, right here. I'll, I'll go check right now then. Uh, I'll go. If you, if you get us some, maybe we can do something about those goblins. All right, let's do this. Go ahead and have someone roll me a d20, please. Kansai. No, Kansai, not you. Kansai, it's all you. Come on. I want to do a d20. On, no, not a d8. I want to roll d20. It's Kansai. <laughs> he oh, has... Oh. He comes back, he has one bottle. I I thought I had more, but uh, I guess not. I mean, I haven't used them in quite a while. It's been a few seasons, as mentioned. Uh, I have one vial here of, uh, well, we had this made whenever my other, uh, my wife, Jenny, before she passed away, uh, bless her soul, uh, she got hit by one of them pesky arrows, uh, sick for a week before I was able to, it was back when I was a bit new, but I was able to get the coin to have this made by one of the people from, uh, Lersim, one of the, one of the healers there made this for me, and, oh, she felt better immediately, but, and that was a brutal, I... brutal week. All right, can I borrow, like, I don't know, an axe or a sword or something, if you have anything like that? Ooh, uh... Are we really going to go fight the goblins with one point, with one antidote? I don't think it's a very good idea. Uh, it's a very good idea. We should kill the goblins. But... But, Chagram, we, we are in very dire we need... We should kill the goblins. Of medicine. Oh, okay, I mean, then. This is a farmstead. I don't really have weapons here. I mean, I have ones to defend myself, but I'm not going to live that up. Uh, I mean, if you're going to kill them, you need to have the weapons yourself. I mean, you seem like you're kind of inexperienced at this, which I'm starting to believe. Are you sure you want to go after them? The mine might be easier. Or safer. I looked at my comrades with like a village tent. Excuse me, do I look like a coward to you? No, 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 you, you are pretty big. Uh, I, I know you come from the, the North uh, Giant Kin. I know no offense. I know you could probably clobber any of them, but still, a, a weapon's a weapon, and it's you and your other friends here. I mean, they don't quite look like the, no offense, but the fighting type. You would be right. I'm not really... A combatant, I would say. So, more the reason, I mean... But... I won't stop you if you want to go that direction, but I, I mean... It's but only my three friend of here, you. My, my friend here, Kilgar, makes a point. Since you're a farmstead, you probably have a pickaxe or an axe for cut down trees, right? A hoe, maybe? Well, yeah, but they're not gonna be... I mean, it's still an axe will do an axe thing, but it's not the axe to swing for battle. Uh, even I know that, but yeah, I well, have some woodcutting axes, of course. Yeah, they're, they're iron tools, so they will still be better than, I believe, what Kirgar owns, right? Uh, all, all right, all right, I can, I can give you some of those. With iron tools, at least we have some ability to defend Was ourselves. Is there some rule for, like, dual, hand, dual wielding and shit? Dual wielding hoes? <laughs> <laughs> axes, actually, but... And we've got a hoe here, so... There yeah, is a I, hoe here. A mine hoe. <laughs> Pixie! <woo. laughs> now, where did I leave my crow? I need a man whore. <laughs> I need me some entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's the microphone cracking. <laughs> don't, get, don't get upset, little boy. Do you, do you provide only the top uh, services, or do you bottom as well? <laughs> <laughs> I take it all in. Hey, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. Is it an RP question or is it just general interest? <laughs> is this for money or is this for <laughs> personal pleasure? Right. Give me a second. I'm actually making your uh, your impromptu weapons. You've already made an axe. Well, there's a habit, but it's but... not an axe. It's yeah, I'm making you a, a wood cutting axe. Yeah, but it's a simple weapon. It's an axe. It's simple, it's right? It's not, not martial an axe. or anything. A is not an axe. Okay. Might as well use this fucking stick then. <laughs> you had the stick already, but no. You wanted a wood cutting axe. 
I thought it would be the 1d6 plus 1 axe, but... Nope. If it's not, then... Can be used as throwing weapons, right? Uh... Well, not really. I mean, it's it's not meant to be uh, thrown that way. I didn't ask if it's meant to be. I asked if it can be used as a throwing weapon. Pretty sure there's rules for a pump too, but yeah. <laughs> if it's not... You need to kill the dwarf, and he can hold the axe. Hmm. <laughs> that's like two birds with one stone. Maybe, maybe that's a good idea. All right, maybe who wants the uh, woodcut next? Maybe tell me the stats. Tell me the numbers. It is a 1d6 damage with one bane. Hmm. What do you to, to attack? Actually, I'll give it 1d6 plus one, so it's the same as a normal axe, but it's not meant for fighting, so it's going to be at one bane to use. No thanks. I mean, technically, we have the staff that's essentially the same thing. So. Yeah, it's 1d6 plus 1. The only difference mm -hmm. is it's two-handed. But I don't have any, like, shoes or anything, so whatever. I'll take the axe, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can use that. You can't. <laughs> Nothing in this world is pixie-sized. <laughs> Except you're starting a good... fucking dagger is like a fucking short sword. Dude. Give me a splinter and I'll kill a ball. <laughs> I'll skewer somebody. A toothpick. Mm. Dagger's like a fucking spy hander. <laughs> <laughs> she she keeps spinning in circles in the air. <laughs> so rehearsed, but that bane is just no. Nope, actually, give me a second. No so the axe and the thing is actually one handed, so two handed would connect. So I'll probably actually make it different. Um, mm. Give me a one d twelve roll for damage. No, for actually, I'll bane. probably make it uh, same as a plus. Uh... Oh, like oh. an axe. I, I I was looking for a hatchet, not like a fucking like fireman's axe. Well, it's a woodcutting axe, so. Well, I guess. It's yeah, gonna but... be pretty sizable. Yeah, but isn't the axe iron and this and the staff is like wood and they have the same stats? Yeah, and you're made of snake. Doesn't mean that I can't use you as a weapon. That, mm, that's not how it works. <laughs> How much blunt damage do you do as yeah, a body? Yeah, so it's going to be um, 2d6. I'll take it. Well, I'll let him take it then. Konsai, I might need I remind you that you already roll like shit. That's, that's precisely why he's rolling. Trust me, I want this weapon. All right. You do you, pal. All right, so Kansai has taken one. Uh, what about you, Demo? I have my staff. Oh, yeah, I want this. All right, and I might get one, obviously, from what you're saying. So it's on the catcher sheet there, Kansai, now. I noticed. All right, well, I uh, got these right here. You can you can, uh, here you can use these as your hands, you, uh, the X, uh Kansai, or uh, not Kansai, yeah. but... No, yeah, that feels good. It's gonna make short work of these little, uh... Okay. I'm just gonna stick with a stick. Oh. All right, um... Well, I wasn't really checking them, so I don't know uh, where they went, but... Well, they, they actually came into this building and stole the stuff, so... You might be able to do your search around here. Uh, good luck! Let's so do you must have any kind of tracking experience. Not at all. I'm a blacksmith well, by trade. I don't. I know anything about tracking. Let's take a look anyway. I'm gonna look for <laughs> tracks. Let's look for goblin tracks. All right, this can be at a base one bane because, well, they're tracks from goblins. So they're kind of small. Um, this would be a intellect. My favorite. Base roll. Is it perception base? For tracking? Mm. Perception will be at two, Bane. Okay, well, fuck that. It's intelligence it is. 
<laughs> Intellect with one bane. Damn, Woo! son. How do I... Where did I find this? How do I add a bane? Like what? Minus uh, you one. click on the skill and you oh, go minus whatever my... banes, yeah. Okay, I see. That's amazing. <laughs> this is exactly what I expected. Hey, anybody else want to look for some gobbles? I'm not too keen on the idea, but if we're already going, we might as well go. I got the maximum bane, by the way. Maximum bane yeah, is six. Did. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. It's, not the first yep. it's not the first time, by the way. <laughs> it won't be the this, last this, time. This is, this is perception. This is perception, right? No, perception, it's yeah, but it's perception with two bane or intellect with yeah. one bane. With two bane, all right. Why don't you just roll intelligence instead? It's fine, I got it. Wow, all oh, right. Uh, but before going any further, you do find some uh, lava jeans. <laughs> but we now go to Crow. So Crow, back to you. Um, as it's been going on, you've been kind of watching this girl. Now, she has, as I mentioned, not having the look of someone who is having fun right now. She went through a very, very traumatic ordeal. And she's being essentially comforted by uh, two essentially grandmothers in this room. What would you like to do? Uh, I'll go up behind them and fly like shoulder height, but be enough where they can't see me. Well, they're not going to see you, but do you want her to be able to see you? Yes, the little girl can see okay. me. Okay, so the moment you get into the room, um, that's a question. I guess you're invisible, so I guess you wouldn't make any noise with your wings when you fly. But yeah, um, you definitely get seen by her, and... You can hear the entire time that the the woman, the two women are trying to essentially calm her down a little bit, or just trying to cheer her up, essentially. Not really working. But the moment that you come into the scene, she gets sight of you, and immediately, for the first time you've seen, her eyes kind of glow a little bit, and she's a bit of wonder. Probably she's never seen a pixie before. And with that, she immediately looks up, and... Again, because she's very, very young, so she just kind of starts here, and she just crack a, a bit of a smile. And you hear one of the older women go, Oh, dear, she, she's smiling. Uh, oh, fa fantastic. And she's kind of just watching you now with her uh, little young eyes. A small little smile on her face. Um, I'll wave at her and do a little ditty of a dance. For go her. ahead. Why Go We're going to see how well of a little dance you do for her. Um, now, this is a little girl, so I'm going to give you two boon. Um, we give me a duty about two boon. Uh, can I just put two? Or that won't work. I'll be able to put two in the, uh, in the uh, boons box. No, I mean, do I have to put plus two or just regular two? Just two. Okay. We'll have to put minus if it's going to be a uh, bane. Cool. That right. was kind of necessary. That was necessary, <laughs> yeah. So you just start, but you succeeded. So, yeah, you start doing a bit of a dance around her, and she, he, he, I can't do a little girl voice, but she starts kind of pick up a little bit, and she, <laughs> she, she does a bit of giggling, and she's kind of watching. She kind of bounces around a little bit um, to, to the very, very joy of the, the two grandmothers, the two caretakers watching her right now. And they go, oh, so fantastic. She's, uh, she's almost like her normal self. Uh, I wonder why. And they start looking around. Why is she so cheery for? What's she? Oh, it must be a child's eyes and their little brains, what they can imagine. And yeah, you're definitely, you did the effect uh, there, Crow. She is definitely cheered now. Um, she does a, a bit of small movement. She kind of winches with a bit of uh, pain she would have. But after a couple of seconds of her kind of repositioning herself, as a little four-year-old girl would do, um, yeah, she's just kind of, she's kind of holding her hands to, like, try to really grab you if she could. Um, although, if you want to get that close up to you, but she's thoroughly enjoying your little dance for her. Uh, and the, grand, uh, the grandparents are still looking at her? Uh, one I guess one, they would, I so guess one they is very it. inquisitively looking around. Why? Especially after the girl kind of looks to you for like a hug to uh, almost like like a girl looking for a dog because it's actually kind of what you bit of art to her. Um, she's looking around. Of what the hell this girl is looking at? 
all the other woman is just kind of happy that her mood seems to have changed. I guess they wouldn't be able to see me. So no, I'll, no, they don't see you. I'll, I'll fly over to her and uh, hold out my hand to shake it with her. Like, shake her finger. She she takes her hand and she, she giggles. And she giggles when she, she takes her hand. And as as a four-year-old girl, I mean, not rough or anything like that, but she does essentially play with you at all intents and purposes. Um, being a bit of a small girl, kind of like a doll, I would say, uh, if you let her. But you, you do notice that there is an immediate change over her demeanor and the way she is. Um, and for all intents and purposes, you have... You have shown a bit of joy in this uh, little traumatic girl's life. Uh, I'll give her, a, I guess, a kiss on the forehead and I'll wave goodbye. She, she does another giggle and she she waves at you. Again, the other woman just literally says, what the hell is she looking at? Pixies want to say are a bit rare in the world. I'm going to go with that. Um, and, uh, yeah. Good job I'll, there. Uh fly back to the dwarf into his beard. <laughs> Kyrgar, you feel your... Not Kyrgar. Uh, Shagram, you feel your beard uh, rustle a little bit as another entity takes place nesting inside. <laughs> I'll just I'll just ignore it. It just seems to happen as of late. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Alright. So, what is the group's plan of action? Well, I discovered the tracks, and you didn't tell me anything about them. Oh, that's right. Let's go back to that. All right, so, Lavagene, you discovered the tracks. Now, the failure wouldn't have represented you not finding tracks, but have been the amount of time wasted finding tracks. But, Lavagene, you yourself, you come across um, a bit of the, the tracks in the ground, a bit of the muddy and slash grassy terrain, and you're able to, for the time being, see a bit of a pattern as it looks like they dragged some of the things they stole. Um, in fact, there's a bit of a mark on the ground, like maybe they put the ingots of iron in a bag and just dragged it behind them. So you're able to follow that for a bit out of the, um, the t out of the... Farmstead? I'm trying to think of the word. Essentially out of the vicinity of the farmstead, kind of want to say. And hmm. it does head to the west towards where a grouping of trees and slight hills are well it appears that we have found their lodging the only question you didn't place. find that lodging no or something close to it. the direction they came from that's right but um I've, i never had combat experience before are we sure we can do this it's just goblins. Now, Maybe. yes, goblins in the road. So again, being commoners, um, just to count the fact that you commoners aren't afraid of fucking goblins. Um, how we come at that is the fact that for one, you do have a big ass half giant with you or giant kin with you. So that probably gives you a bit of a boost to your um, you know, your, co your confidence. Right. But I'd say it's generally true. Goblins themselves tend to be very, very, very weak and. Almost of an annoyance than a threat. Okay, so they're more they're, like they're a more pest. They're more annoyance than a threat. They're more a pest, yeah. Okay, I, I thought they were like actually like, okay, there might be a bit spooky. No, yeah, to count to the way your reaction was with them, I have to make them not really that dangerous, so. Uh, okay. Well, all right. I just, just, you know, make sure, just to let you know, I've never really fought before, so. You have a staff. If they come close, just smack them. And... Okay. You hit them as really as hard. As long as they don't surround you, you're gonna be just fine. Like, we have a battle-hardened dwarf here. He's a blacksmith. He has held blades before, I'm sure. That's cool. I am yeah. big and strong. I'm not scared of goblins. Okay. Hey, I don't know what the the gonna do, but... Wait, where is she, anyway? I haven't seen her. Uh, what time of yeah. day is it? Pretty quick. Crow is a, a man of war. Uh, what's yeah, a couple hours have passed. I don't know what, what time it is. Just because um, from noon to one, and we uh, have a we have an actual the sunset. Clock. Yeah, we're gonna see the time here. 
Gotta keep an eye on First, that. Update the time. Yeah, I haven't set it up yet. Actually, it's up the calendar for the game. Um, but I can actually probably do the time, extra time frame. So, let's do this. Um, I just think there's, there's a certain time period I'm, I'm visible. Yeah. Oh, like, like Cinderella. No. What? No. What? No. 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 Nope. Nothing like Cinderella. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Not at all like Cinderella. God wrong gender, it. wrong race. So wrong was that night? So just to make it easy. It was at night time that you finished your uh, your library search. So you actually waited the next day. And so getting to here to now, I'll say, um, get everything ready. It is. We'll go this. We'll get to three forty-nine. Okay. So it's, it's midday. Well, oh, it's well past midday, but yeah, three forty-nine p.m. All right. Well, what do we what do we find once we've arrived at the? Um... Well, I mean, we could do this, and then we get back. We can maybe camp at the farm. I don't know. Yeah, probably. You no, know, you're gonna have to work. Unless we can get back to town, but I'm just saying, you know. We get a well, you'll, sure you'll be work. man. You'll I'm be sure working. The man will allow us to stay. Hey, you'll you'll be working hard. We'll just be resting, and waiting for you. Because, you know, all dwarves are just made to make other tools. And you lizard people wonder why everybody hates you. Very well warranted hate, yeah. I mean, For this shame. Isn't, this isn't part of canon. I'm a good girl, okay? Wait, what? Uh, good, good. Nah. Alright, in a second, I'm actually going to say... Onward! What you see? I'm, I'm, I really hope this isn't. I hope this is like regular goblins, goblins, and not like <laughs> goblins slayer goblins. No, I'm not gonna go that ridiculous. Don't worry. Goblins. Oh, so you do know what goblin slayer goblins are? Yeah, I'm not gonna go that goblin slayer goblins. Don't worry. Good to know that you know the existence of such. Well, give, 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 given the crime and punishment that he presented us, like. It's already much worse than what Goblin Slayer did. <laughs> I mean, I've always like when I when I watch Goblin Slayer, I'm like, holy shit! Okay, if you write goblins this way, they're kind of fucking spooky, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's wrong here. Something does not line up with what uh D and D has taught me. <laughs> these ain't little cheap mobs. These are <laughs> fucking monsters. I wonder if somebody watched it and thought it, this was like Konosuba, but then it didn't turn out to be that way. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a rude awakening that was. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Oh dear. That's, I, I think I think that's part of the reason why it got so much bad press early on because it was just such shock value for people who probably didn't expect it. I mean, the only the only the only shock value was first episode where you know. Yeah. Afterwards, it was a pretty lighthearted. Movie. Yeah, but like it had to be in the first episode because people usually watch one episode and decide <laughs> then and there if it's worth well, watching. Uh, I mean, it kind of it kind of backfired though, didn't it? Kinda, yeah. What like, happened to oh, the show? Shit. I mean, I... nothing. It's still fun. It's still a good show. It just ever like a lot of people got upset about the first yeah, episode. And then... The first episode scene. They were weak. They were what weak show was it? It was kind of ridiculous. Goblin, Goblin Slayer. Slayer. Goblin Slayer. Oh, never heard of it. Oh, well, watch the first episode and then talk to us again. How about? How about... <laughs> well, don't no, no, watch. Maybe, the maybe don't. Episode. Don't watch. Don't watch anything. Because many people got very, very uh, butthurt about the first episode. Really upsetting. Really, really upsetting. Because woman. Because you know goblins do what goblins do. But after yeah, that, it was like yeah. after that was like pretty okay. You know, it wasn't that. They 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 took the uh this goblin description of uh pillage, steal, and rape quite literally. Oh, they, made them, brothers. they made them. Ooh. It is Actually, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that there were some like other stuff later on, but not in the, not not as graphic anymore. It's just kind of lighthearted goblins. Flashbacks. 
it, it, it's a goblin comedy. <laughs> Ooh. I see a grid, yeah. There's a map to the bottom right, but it's not, uh... Who wants to play tic-tac-toe? Oh, do you? No tic-tac-toe. But as you have traversed... I'm gonna try a bit of a style of this one that I can't really do in Fantasy Ground. I'm just gonna try here. So, as you have traveled through a bit of the... The way you, you follow the trail that has been given off that Lavin Jean, now able to point to the rest of you, has able to uncover. And it actually follows... In fact, to make it easy, it's the actual trail that's in the ground. To make it easy. Okay, so it's, a, it's a path. It's a path that the goblinoids used, and it's the implant of the, the bag of essentially bars of iron ingots that they stole. Okay. So these are quite fresh then. Or recent. They are... Well, it happened a couple days ago. Okay. Hmm. Which means that no one has come here, here since, since they're still kind of like, you know, undisturbed. Wait, it, we're, we're, we're in autumn. Oh shit. Special effects. Oh wait, all these these will be stuck in your beard. <laughs> you feel like you they're just think... gonna keep me warm. I don't think that's how it works. But yeah, that's, uh... I call it leaf insulation. A leaf blower. So you already have you already have a leaf blower in your you beard. Tell me how you wish to proceed forward. Well, do we? I mean, is it normal that I just see like gray things? Do you not we see the do, map? No, maybe we do stealth. I don't yeah, see we, anything there. Yeah, we don't, we don't see the map. We just see a checkered gray. I area. see the map in the bottom right, but it's like. It's an autumn effect on the grid, essentially. There's no map here. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I can see the picture on the bottom right, but I can't actually scroll on it. It's just... Yeah, it's a, it's like... It's not on the grid, actually. Ba basically, the map that you wanted us to go is like Skybox, and we're inside the real map. With, like, checkered things, <laughs> but, like, nothing. A, can you give me a screenshot? I'm just kind of curious what I'm looking at. Somebody go ahead. I don't have push. Mike? Yes. Yes. Oh, just look at that. If I if I if I point my mouse to the very corner of the grid. Does that move it? Oh. Yes. Oh hey, it's here now. That's that's better. Hmm. Yeah, but that actually means I can't do anything then. Huh. Oh. <laughs> my view is getting reset. My view is getting reset every time I try to move. Interesting. Uh, it's, I fixed it because probably it wasn't holding control at some point. So is it at the top left now, or is it at the... Um... It, we can now see it on the map. Right with now the... it's lining up with the grid. Uh, yeah. On the grid, what position is it? Uh, uh, well, the, the entire grid. Uh, okay, there's like some top. Yeah, uh, three rows top. at the top. And three and a half squares on top is still exposed. What about it's on the beyond... left? There's Everything nothing is fine. on the left or the right. It's all fine. Yeah, okay, well... just the just, just top has. Just need to move it up three and a half spaces. Oh, we'll try this. Is it going goofy? And we'll just experiment with it. It might be one of the modules. It might be something else. So we'll go with it. Maybe. But we're going to now say we're going to start right here. This fly keeps molesting me. Stop it. Stop the fly. It won't stop. Are there any tokens on the map? Not that you see. You see no signs of said goblins yet. <laughs> I see my own tokens. You should see your own tokens. Nope. 
Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't restart. Ah, see, no, no. Yeah, this is this is kind of wonky. Do me a favor, restart. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna okay. refresh. Okay. Yes, Okay. Master. Reloading. Okay, now it's I will do what you ask. Now, yeah, this this is completely fine now. Yes, where I see what you mean. We're at the top left. Only quarter of the entire grid is taken up, or less even, and then I can see my tokens as well. Cool. Uh, I no longer stretched out. That was a weird thing that happened. Okay. I see it now. Well, a refresh has fixed it, so. Cool. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, I can see it now. All right. Awesome. Now we're going to go with this. I'm going to kick Alan. Alan is gone. No. Um, okay. Take it off my bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe he fucking fell. He's not going to do that again. He, he'd be like, uh, like, like the whole, or whole group, like, has, like, you know, some, uh, uh, what you call it, kinship from battling, and then this, like, fucking loser comes in, like, hey, guys, uh, <laughs> what's, his, what's his race, anyway? I don't know. If it's Hobgoblin, we can find him here. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said to go, uh, human. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, we, we can, can still find him here. We can, we can also find him here. Always find him here. <laughs> there are no limits. Oh, you no, thought no. the you thought the fairy was gonna be a man whore, but oh, wait till you see what he had to go through. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I'm sure he would love the backstory. That's that's why he was dead. That's that's why he's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> he passed out in the cave. Goblin play thing backstory. 1d6 insanity. 1d3 corruption. We'll figure something out. Goblin playmate. A second, I actually gotta put a token. Uh, At least now we can't be confused because Alan's not here. <laughs> 100% chance. Did not miss. I'm so hungry though. Ugh, help. What do you mean hungry? I need to devour flesh. Prepare some snacks next time. I didn't know we we're gonna like I don't know we we're gonna be here like six hours. What do you, what do you mean six hours? It's not this, this is barely the third hour. Is it? Yes. Yeah, so like the fourth we're really officially started. Well, then. Yeah, we're actually about oh, an hour past that would normally end. Oh. I see. So, is this like the, the cliffhanger we get Ellen tomorrow? I think and about like... seeing uh, if you want to experience uh, one round of uh, combat. A easy one if you wanted to. Yeah, I think it would be good. Yeah, sure. So, I'm going to do a small comic counter right here. Tiny bit, easy one. Oh, you spoiled the surprise. I wonder what's inside the stump. No, I can use my I can use my arrows to move my character. Look at this. Oh, it's delayed. Oh, it's super delayed. Oh, delayed. This, is, this is some American <laughs> latency right here. Oh, not delayed for me. Mine's like delayed by like half a second. Well, it's, it's or what? When I move my movement keys, my portion. You can use arrow keys to move tokens. Look. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's some Pogger's door stuff right there. Hey Kansai, look! Yeah. Look, there's a stump. There's honey in there. We can cure. We can cure our disease. I think the stump itself is the disease this time. Oh dear. Lucky me, I brought this wood chopping axe. I think the snake is the disease. I've never done anything to Jotun. For a long time, yes. I've never done anything to Jotun, man. Wait a second, I actually had to make the uh, the enemies because, well, they didn't have made yet. So I'm doing that right now. You snakes are all the same. No guts, no glory. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> Remember that? 
corporate wants you to see find a difference between these two pictures. <laughs> They're the same picture. Show them show them kill rats in a in a basement and do metal work. <laughs> these are the same picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the funny. illusion of choice. <laughs> All right, and we'll make it easy because we're gonna have a couple of them. No, and before it. party wipe, only a couple. And before TPK. <laughs> <laughs> Remember yeah. last time? You're not actual adventures yet. Remember, I'm inside the dwarfs of uh, beer. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm gonna shoot my uh my... <laughs> I'm gonna carry you around shoot. I'm gonna use my sling and it's gonna be weird. Shoot, well, shoot projectiles out of it. <laughs> Wait, are you are you permanent are you invisible to us permanently or can you allow yourself to be invisible to us? I can allow myself. Because if you're invisible, all we're gonna see is like a fucking sling just attacking on its own. All, all we're gonna see is a beard furiously throwing stones at people. That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> radical. Okay. We should keep that up. So talk about get how combat inside this game works. So we're gonna actually start combat by going everyone. Go and open up the combat tracker on the right hand side of the screen. It is the closed fist. I'm gonna throw everyone in the combat tracker. Wow. Now, you'll see, in this game, you have slow and fast actions. And you, as a player, get to decide which one you're going to do. Now, uh, here's a bit of simplified is simplifiedness of Shadow Demon Lord. The combatants go, it's always players first and then enemies. Players first and enemies. But it's broken up into slow and fast actions. If you do a fast action, you get to do one action. Movement or an attack or a skill, that's it. A slow action is two actions. Double move, double attack. That's how that works. Now it all goes first, fast, and then slow. And then it goes, for example, it would go fast players, fast enemies, and then slow players, slow enemies. So if you want to move and attack, you're gonna go ahead and do slow actions. If you just want to attack, it's gonna be a fast action. In fact, you can't attack twice because you always do slow. Um, you attack once unless you have actions that can give it to you. So typically, if you want to, once you get into melee range, you're going to go into fast actions. But if you need to move, you're going to be slow. Mm. And with that, you can set it by clicking on the slow um, in the combat tracker. So actually, we'll see if, it, see if it works. Can a couple of you change it to uh, fast actions? Let's see if it works from a player side. Yep, there it goes. Okay, it does work. All right. Uh, With that, how uh, far can you begin even begin combat? Go. Oh, what the fuck is this bullshit? What? <laughs> I see next up on the screen now. It's not going away. Oh, is it saying next for everyone? No, so it's it. up and it's not going away. Oh, I, I don't if mind. He's, if he's next in the turn. There you yeah. go. So, oh. Goblin Boy is going to go first. Now, they see you, and you're in their territory. They don't look like the typical D&D Goblin. They look like... Gnomes. <laughs> so apparently gnomes are goblins now. But they go, <laughs> Ah, stinky people! Go back! i shoot you with my bow! What language do they speak? Common. Okay. They speak common. Interesting. They, what about, like, is does, do goblins not have, like, a goblinish? They probably do, but for right now, these are forest goblins. They're different no, subspecies. Goblins. Goblins. A, a, a subspecies of a subspecies. Subspecies of goblin. He is going to aim at the local plucky hero, which is, well, Demo. I think you actually get her names. So I'm going to target Demo. And then why I'm, I'm going why to... Why am, I, why, am I the, why am I in the front in the first place? Because you enslaved the race also. 
And with that, they are going to use <laughs> a weapon against you. <laughs> it's a bow. You'll see how this works out when he rolls. All right. I can't wait to die. No. <laughs> it's a good day to die. How come I can't? Oh, because it's the wrong guy. It's a good day to die. And you know the reasons. Ah, that's why. Okay, here comes the bow. Please no. Stop, please. There's a timer. Imagine he has no arrows and just throws oh, a bow at right. you. He's dead. It hits, and for the damage against Demo is going to be two. How do I input damage? As a, I do. I'll do all for you. So an arrow streaks out of the air, and it lands and it punctures into the body of Demo. Ow. I change that. Shouldn't be Demo. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin, the second one, he will also launch an arrow, but this time Again, at Again, the dwarf. Fight this, me, melee coward! This, this no. is the position. <laughs> he can answer during the fast turn. Oh my this God, one I arrow flies overhead and it hits the ground. Luckily, you are not struck. Uh, we lost Crow. There he is. My turn. Demo is on you. If I can change your character. Your character's name is actually real names. The next stop is not going away again. Yeah, because you actually are next. If you look at the combat tracker. Uh, so... I will... Uh, so I can use a skill and a movement if, I use, if I'm in a slow turn, right? A slow turn, you can do a movement and an action. Okay. Uh, so, from my perspective, can I use perception to see if there's any more goblins in the trees besides the ones we see here? Um, it will be an action. You can do that. Actually, yeah, it'll be an action. Because I want to like move and do this. Move and use your eyes. Use my eyes. <laughs> just make it easy. I... There's not going to be any uh, goblins around. Just don't run. Just okay. use four. Okay, so I'll use my, use my movement and fucking eat behind the eaters. The little giant voice again. We're doing this again. I have no we're rage we're weaponry. I have no rage weaponry. The co demo is being useful again. I have no rage weaponry and while I'm in the front. <laughs> there's Kegar, no way. you. There's no way I should be in the front. Yes, I would like to... How far can I move? 10 feet? It is yards. So you can move your speed in yards. So, oh, one, two, three, four, one, three, four. Up to here? Or you can double move for 20. Can also, you? you can drag a token to actually do an arrow of your movement. So if you drag a token, you'll actually see the movement you'll do. I mean, I literally oh. drag your token off. You'll see. Double move, you say. Are we doing? Are we doing like? Uh, getting flanked? Uh, stuff or not? Uh, flanked, I believe. Yes, is in effect. I don't think that's flat terrain. I don't think you can just run up. Can I just run up this thing? You can try by as you attempt it to give me a agility roll. No, I'm good. I'll just go here. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm good. Chop the tree down, make him fall down. Uh, uh, assuming a stance is an action? Uh, what do you mean assuming a stance? Like, to go defensive or whatever. Uh, I can't remember, so I'm going to say no. It isn't. So I'd like to go here and take the defensive stance. Okay, drag a guy there. Yeet. All right. I am Kiergar of Yeetenheim. My meat shield. Pass turn. Should be on your screen. I mean, you should have you should have foresaw that I would have approached enemies. Forsooth. 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 My friend. Forsooth. Your turn. It won't go. But but, but but Mike, you're the only other tall being besides me. 
but why would you think that I'm just gonna stand there? I'm not gonna hide behind a dwarf who's like uh, twice my size. Then why wouldn't you move up no. to where I could stand in front uh. of you? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the ability of foresight yet. Well, you, what you've nah. what you've shown oh. here is the opposite. In Since fact, I'm in Shagram's beard. When he moves, <laughs> that means I move. Okay, yeah. Uh, I just noticed I'm pretty slow. How fast are you? I need to see how that works out because essentially that allows you to triple move. So if you take a ride, it is going to be your actual movement. Okay. Hmm. You keep. I only like took. I took a double action to go twice my speed. Yeah, I'm also gonna do that. Double action. I, I need to think about it. I mean, uh, honestly, because how small you are, it would fit that you would just take a ride. So just make it. Uh, I, I need to see. I have to find a way to. to be, see I'm stuff. pretty sure he's going to be pretty I don't mind if right now we can just t treat it as if. It's 15. I think I should move one more, honestly. Can you move one more? Yeah, because from where I started, it's 15 yards, but I should be able to move 16. Or I'll just play outside of his beard. I don't know why just it didn't do that combat yeah, right now. It is make time it easier. Crow, it's on you. So y are y'all getting like the next turn and then your turn pop up? Yeah. Cool. cool. Alright. Um oh there it goes. <laughs> Tell me okay. your cover is gone. So it is. Technically these guys can't see me. No. Can't Gumbin see you? No. They're not children. Well so. not unless they have an intelligence of Seven? I think they get a chance to see me. Or if they're insane. Actually, let's see. You're invisible to most creatures aside from other pixies. Animals, demons, fairies, monsters, children, and creatures with intelligence who are of seven or lower. Creatures with five or sanity or more can see you clearly. They gotta be stupid or crazy to see you. <laughs> are goblins stupid? <laughs> let's just find out. Uh, goblins, they... Do not see you. Okay. All right. So speed, I can go twice as much. I can go twenty. Yes. I'll tell you what. Um, you can hit your right. So go ahead and actually, um, you can do yes. a free. I'll do. I didn't play around with how I'm gonna do it, but go ahead and essentially move um halfway and then take a full turn. Okay. Oops. Um. Your speed is 10, so you could move 10. So you could actually attack this guy right here. Alright. You could use, um. Yeah, but if I attack, that would make me visible, right? I believe so. Uh. Well, I'll go up here into the trees. And now, uh, would I get advantage on that attack? Uh, go ahead and take two boon. Power oh. of so you're going to click on your weapon, the dagger, and then add in uh, two boon, and then roll. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, my sling. Okay. So I guess I'll be off a little bit. Uh, sling will not get you a bonus, I believe. Oh, well, okay. Then I'll use my dagger. So you say click on the dagger? Yep. Oh, sorry. You need a target. So go ahead and alt left click oh, on the... Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. I'm going to do that. So alt and left mouse click on the target. And you'll target him. Oh, there's a toggle combat stance as well. There you go. I don't know what that means, though. Oh. What's, what's, uh, what are you looking at, Mike, for comment stance? I right-clicked on my uh, icon, and it is a toggle combat Oh, that's stat. actually to uh, put yourself into the combat tracker. Although, I do that, so. Oh, never right. mind, then. Yeah. Crow, hit the uh, dagger now. Uh, 
I did it won't do anything. Uh, make sure your guy is selected and not the picture, but hit the actual text person. dagger. Yeah, I am. And my guy selected because I can see the toggle yeah, it didn't work correctly. on that state. So make sure your guy is selected and then do it. Left click and then your the other guy is targeted. Click the other one. Yeah, I'm clicking on the macro. Or on the uh, the text, so it says dagger. It says dagger off. To flip it. Hmm. Let me try. The there was an works. error in your macro syntax. And I got the goblin targeted. It's got the little orange brackets around him. I do have the... Did you left click your own token? Maybe that's... Yeah, I mean, I got mine left clicked yeah, open. Yeah, it's not working. Let's see. Can okay, someone attack it? I'm trying. It's not working. There was an error in micro syntax. Oh, no. I can roll it without a target. Yeah. I can roll with that. But I... Oh, I know why. <laughs> I didn't put in All the right. attack modifier, what it should be. All right, everyone, go ahead and open up your um, the dagger entry. And do you see? Can you can you edit where the modifier is? The attack modifier. Oh, it's strength. Uh -huh. Yep. Set it as agility or strength. Either one. That's why. Okay. Same with the staff as well. Uh, is the staff finesse? It is, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. it's set to agility or uh, strength. And then you go ahead, that's why. Oh, they now did. it's opening up a thing for me. Uh, what'd you okay. say, Mike? Now it's popping up a message to. Yeah, so now go ahead and do the actual thing, uh, Crow. There we go. Holy shit. Well, that is definitely gonna hit, so go ahead and. <laughs> I think roll that me. hits, yeah. Your My damage. Mighty, mighty damage of one. Wow. <laughs> I'll it's actually it rounded roar. down, so you actually did zero. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe that was my damn smart. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's good. Can it do zero? Yeah, it's round down. I am. Uh, I gotta learn oh, that. Not even a paper cut. That's what happens when you get a pixie. <laughs> You're not gonna do a lot of damage. All right, Crow, uh, go ahead and pass your turn. I'll hold my dagger in front of it. Go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> good one. Well done. All right. The goblin up here does not like what you did. He is going to run down and stab <laughs> the dwarf. Oh, he's running down a hill. Is he going to get us some check to like... Not Looks like the away? target's coming to me. Hell no. He's got a small spear. He thrust out with the spear and it will absolutely strike true. Uh, for a whopping six damage. Actually, kind of. I knew it. I knew it. Whack! You get pierced. The dwarf starts bleeding. He goes, "Ha! Oh, ugly God. dwarf!" And then the other one, the one that's surrounded. There's no attack of opportunity. He is going to also stab the big ass Kilgar. Exactly. Incoming spear strike. For a whopping hit, and also a damage roll of two to kill them. Ah. <laughs> Just support a flesh wound. Wow. We go to the top of round two. We do our actions now. Uh, I guess I want fast, right? Fasto. Fasto. Oh. I like how I was forced into turn order, and then I just get moved down while these. Uh... Fast boys. Jesus. That basically means a free slow turn for uh, hers. Oops. 
Whoops. I remember you all. There we go. <laughs> I'm a Jean, which is you way in the back, being useless like usual. Uh, Doing nothing. My meat shield run away. Uh, <laughs> you could have charged in immediately, but no. I've been, I was berated by arrows. So my limit is 10 yards. Or you can double move for 20. I, I use fast. I can't double move. So I'm going to go 10 yards here. And that's all you can do. That's a turn. Protection, protection with the bushes. Nice. Why don't you take the fast action then if that's all you're going to do? Because that demo a... is just uh, special, but in a different way. Because I know they have bows. Do I? Do I get to? Do I get to? But like, even if you got slow, it doesn't matter because they would have hit you anyway with a bow. There's nowhere you can hide. Uh, where? Can, uh, how many boons do I get to slap this boy that's being surrounded? I will give you. I'm not going to count crow as uh, that. <laughs> so I'll give you one boon. <laughs> it's one of the drawbacks of being a small little berry. That will miss the goblin. Fantastic. Question: Jesus. When I if I start when I start doing magic, will my tiny size still matter for damage and stuff? Uh, magic probably not. Magic probably do full damage. Okay. Just wait, guys. I'll get you when I learn magic. I'm taking your names down. Shagrim is on you. <laughs> I'm still facing a goblin that struck me just now. And I'm just going to be like... Uh... I don't think they have attack of opportunities. Or you could just move out of his way. What? Like you can move instead of attacking. But I don't even know what you want me to fucking... Whatever. I'm saying, if you're feeling cornered, you can just move out of their range and then it won't be... Cornered? <laughs> okay, well, forget I said anything. You're getting treated like a... I'm going to say to the one up above me, I'll deal with you later, goblin! And I spin a Rooney around, and I'm just going to bury my axe in the one to the bottom. Oh. Make sure the two he's axes. targeted. And, uh... Well, usually this weapon would be a negative one, you know, one boot, one bane, but, you know, I have the thing, which makes that disappear. And then I get the corner thing, or corner thing, which gives me another boon on top of that. So let me just uh, add one boon here. You, how do you cancel the boon? Are okay. you just putting up, pause number? Uh, what corner thing are you talking about? Isn't he, like, encapsulated by me and Kurgar? Yeah, you get one. You get one boon to the attack. Yeah, I have a talent which uh, gives me another, so I get one on, in total. How did you, oh, okay. You, uh, you had checked the talents. Oh, oh damn! Got it. All right. Oh damn! So it's adding one boon. Wait, actually, that is OP. Adding two boons. Well, one the boon in total. Huh? And this this axe comes comes in handy. So this is why you took it. So just put we two like boons and then go ahead and roll. Automatically detract the one yeah, boon. One boon. One boon. No, nope, two. He already said the weapon things. So yeah. Wait, no, because he, he gets a bane from the... Put in and then... two. Wait, 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 wait. Fucked up. Hold on. Now I can do it. Hold up. Now I know. Now I know. Yeah, that sort of has the bane included. It's time to meet your maker. Hit, please. No. I will miss. I love my life. My life is great. This is what I've aspired to be all my life. You need to build like a rogue that gets always boons their tech rolls. <laughs> I don't think that'll help. <laughs> now you see, what use is five boons if all you ever do is take the highest number? So it doesn't matter how many boons he has, it's always just gonna be one. <laughs> <laughs> do I get the one boon still? Uh, you get two boon. Oh, is that because of your size? I think you actually probably get more. I'm just going to give you a boon to the fact that you're so damn small. And they're all easy to hit. Oh, so he gets an extra roll, but because he's, he's tiny, small, he that's fucking a bitch. By comparison. Stand still, damn it. 
This yep. is this okay. is where uh, this is oh, where the party dies. Yes, because our, yeah. yep. because our lavagine is being very useful. I have well. passed the baton. Uh, My meat shield run away. Coming in, oh. bow strike. Yeah. We're just going to hit lavagine for a total but of two damage. But I have, but I have bush protection. What's going on? No, you don't have bush protection. They have protection the requires a piece of rubber. All right. Um, <laughs> Don't try it, Love and Jean. They have the high ground. <laughs> they really do. He moves I'm here. almost, I'm almost dead. My power. He's also going to strike you with a bow because you're, you're alone target by yourself. Yay. Because my, my meat shield ran away. Yay. A strike okay. true to Love and Jean for Can't a total of four damage. Me for I'm uh, dead. Woo. Lava Jean goes down. Lava Jean is that big new character. Fucking Christ. My meat shield fucking run away. Oh, yeah, because that's my fault. You know, yeah. when I heard easy combat, I did not expect it to go this poorly. They all have well, bows. Really. So... It, it, would, it would be, it would be, it would work if, you know, if we hit a single roll. <laughs> yeah, we haven't landed a single hit yet. And a <laughs> roll comes in against... I hit my first one. Sagram for one damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Crows to roll one to zero. Zero damage. And then the goblin here. Only person who can actually hit. Is there, like a, a, is there is there like a reckless attack or something? Um, I think it's actual abilities. I said, I probably won't kill you all here. This is the example of combat. We'll see. We'll see how your character survive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am not a combat character. I have eight health, and they all have bows. So, like, what do you want me to do? Top of if round we three. Die, don't tell Adam about it. Don't Lavaline tell Adam about it. is dead. Yes. <laughs> Killed. Uh, get him. God damn. What does Celis give for money? <laughs> I'm trying! <laughs> Alright, Kirgat, it's on you. Kirgat rolls a really good roll. Ooh, finally. Roll like shit. Woo! Nice. Well, and the goblin dies. Smacked. Great. You've done God's work. I have done God's work. Well, I'm glad this is all pretend, because all the value you just put into it will not be existent. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to smack the one above me. It's just to show how deadly it can be for not adventuring heroes. <laughs> so, such a level zero characters. It's not meant to be easy. It's also very deadly for non-combat characters. No. But did not all of us are non-combat characters. What do you mean? You are like two houses wide. <laughs> you're, that just you're, means that you're... I have like two extra damage and two extra health compared to you. Mike, how much health do you have? Shit. What? I have 13 health. I have 8. So don't fucking talk to me. You non-combat character, by the way. Yeah, Bro has you know, 4 health, by the way. Yeah, he's invisible. He does no damage. He's also not invisible. Well, he's not invisible anymore. He also feel the might of my dagger, you son. Oh, of he dagger. shouldn't wait. Does he roll that? What does he round damage? down to what? What? Why does he round down? Does he do half damage? Yeah, because he's a pixie. <laughs> yeah, he does half damage. He does half damage. His spells do full damage until once he actually gets it. So, so I got, I got one. I have one a blooded warrior. Now the second one to do the actual damage. I am a blooded warrior. You will fear me. The goblin is going to shoot an arrow at the back of the dwarf's head. But I'm facing them. Oh, there we go. That's more like the side, really. The side of its head with a bow. It's made of blood. I'll give him one boon or one bane because he is. Shoot into a friendly fire. That will miss. It flies are, overhead. Are, He's too afraid of his ally. Are goblins concerned about friendly fire? 
Yeah, they're intelligent. No, but he could accidentally hit his own. He also goes by to shoot an arrow into the side of Sagram's forehead. Try me. <laughs> you go. And he rolls. That will hit. An arrow sinks true into the forehead of Sagram for two damage. Forehead. I feel nothing. <laughs> ha! I didn't even the feel The last goblin is going to try to shake. Off <laughs> bounced off my skull. My brain matter is not even... <laughs> I'm not even surprised. My brain is dead. He used to wreck Shagram to Shagram for five damage. He's dead. He stone. Shagram goes down. Fucking Christ, dude. These, these are OP goblins. They all have bows. These are monsters. You're not level one adventurers. <laughs> Turn order. Okay. okay, but like... Not this. I mean, not only all... not, did I miss all my attacks, I only dodged one. <laughs> yeah. I I didn't dodge any, so you got that going for you. <laughs> Don't worry, Shagram. One of these days, I'll avenge you. <laughs> it is not my turn. In fact, I'm I'm slow. <sighs> Jesus. Shouldn't be fifth round, but all right. Yeah, it's the way the cup track is done. Ignore the cup rounds. It's the way to get the fastest stuff in. There's probably a better way, but I'll look it up a little later. Crow, it's on you! Two of your companions are on the ground, bleeding out. Give me your flesh, bud. So there's like five arrows. There's like five arrows. Look at this man. He can't stop hitting, but can he roll the damage? Yes! One. Yes. And as I pinprick him, I'm gonna lick the blood off. That's the max of it. damage you can do anyway. And I'd be like, I love the taste of goblin. <laughs> <laughs> he licks the dagger. Cousin, shoots an arrow into Kyrgyz. She's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, Mike is about to get the, the pin caution treatment like I did. Incoming arrow. This one He's will about hit. to get bodied. Time to get the pin caution treatment. <laughs> one damage to Kyrgyz. Become a second goblin. You got that a hit. Bone arrow come flying in. This one also. Ooh, this will actually miss. It goes overhead. Easy. Yes. Leaving the goblin yes. to Dude, run like over. Nope. Ah, wait. They're just run over. Oh, well, this guy runs. You get attack of opportunity, by the fast. way, bro. But he's oh. fast, so he can't move. He can't Heck attack. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yep. He can't attack. You will not attack ah. the cat. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh. No, 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 he can't. You can't. We'll damage. Oh, okay. But he, why can he attack? No, he can't. He can't attack. Why oh, can Crow yeah. attack? Attack of opportunity. There's no such thing. I thought there wasn't. So, but he did deserve damage. So ignore it. Kick it's on you. There's no, there's no attack of opportunity until you take a talent for it. Ah, got it. I forgot. It's been a while. He uh, fears me. Ahead he runs and, away uh, from my mighty dagger. <laughs> Move here and uh, attack this man. This goblin. Wait, do I get a bane boon? Anything? You get nothing. No, I roll. Curses. It's a miss. Ten Wait. is a miss. Oh well. yeah, ten is a miss. Okay. Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. The AC is high. Kiga, you going another slow action? Uh, well, are they going fast or are they going slow? They are all going fast. Uh, well, I'm going fast. Take too. a turn. I go you know, again. We should have studied on goblins before coming here. <laughs> nice. He is super oh, hurt. Slow. He is uh, dead. Yeah, Throw it on you. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here, and as I fly straight at him, true, I'm gonna stab him. You can't do that. Why not? Because you took a fast action. Oh. So if you take a slow action, you do a move and attack, or you just move, or you just attack. You got your sling. Oh, that's true. Okay, I'll sling him. Change your modifier yeah. pretty slightly. Uh, 
at the ability. Haha. -ha. You just cannot roll under a 20. <laughs> he does it, he's getting any damage. And nothing. <laughs> <Break>. <laughs> It keeps it keeps the, the game is the game knows it's playing with us. <laughs> oh, the goblin's going to run over. Actually, which goblin is it? Goblin right here is going to run up to you, Kegar, and try to stab you with his spear. He doesn't like your I mean, face. Point. You're just gonna die, dude. No, I'm still fine. No, I'm just, I'm just Gucci. He's a damage. The next one, also, spear into your gut. I'm gonna die. Look, this is fine. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not fine. Damage. They haven't. They've missed. This like is one insane. Attack. Five damage. Kegar is, is now dead. <laughs> <laughs> just what is this? I mean, it's basically coin flip gone wrong. <laughs> Crow, you're the last to see. Are you getting panicked on the ground, bleeding out? Uh, Nineteen. Uh, Wait, I want to. I want to take a gander at these rolls. Uh, I'm gonna come back, and when I do, you got was better be gone, or else you're gonna be sorry. I'm gonna come back in like an hour or two. Goblin, <laughs> Goblin 13 hit. 15 uh, hit. 9. Eight, I think I'm tending more towards the human next time, you know? Uh, standard. Yeah. You know They're what? opening salvo, they hit every attack. Our opening salvo, we missed every attack. I'm gonna revenge for my. Then Goblin hit, hit, hit. Hit. <laughs> Four hits in a row. I attack finally. Kill one. You miss. Crow deals one damage. It's oh, fucking insane. Man. Can I just can I just say I haven't dodged a single attack? And I actually dodged two. All of you except for Crow, but Crow can't do anything because he's just well, he's a little itty bitty pixie at this moment. Uh, they rob you of all your coin, leaving you to oh, essentially no. fend for your life. Luckily. A couple of the farmers looking for you, find you, and drag you back to the farmstead. Bloodied and defeated, but you make it back alive. Because I'm not making you all make your characters, that'd be kind of ridiculous. But you were defeated, so you all have lost your coin. Thank God I spent all of it. <laughs> thank, God, thank God I only had six copper. <laughs> well and that is where we will end the first session of Shadow of the Demon Lord good yes. good I forgot how much